some background of what we were doing. I'm going to go through the results, and I'm not going to go through every definition because I think you all sitting in here, we've done this together before many times. So I'm going to go through the goals, and I want to remind you how these goals came to be. Okay, so um, when the community plan um, was put together, that's where the community was involved. And through that community plan came these goals. These goals, the community plan um, served as a starter for the goals, and then the board at the time got together and basically summarized what they saw in the community plan for what I call the 10 big rocks. And so I do, I just call it that just for ease. <laughs> so the 10 big rocks. And then, so what happened after that is that the directors all got together and um, put down, we had a big session, the assistant directors, the directors, and we put down what we think defines each one of those goals. And there are a couple of different definitions on every goal. And then those um, definitions went back to the board and the board said, yes, they agree, or we did some changes. And that's where these results maps come up. So community first, board directors, assistant directors, all had a hand in making these goals. And so that's why all of our programs and everything are scored to the importance back to these goals. Because essentially, if our community tells us this is what is important, we want to make sure that the programs that we are serving the community with meet those goals and objectives, okay? I know I, I'm repetitive, but I just wanted to um, give you just kind of a history of it just to make sure that we're up to date. And now I'm going to move forward with looking at the goals. Community-oriented results. So community character is one of our goals, and then the definitions around it sustains and invests in the community. Um, enhances its major corridors with the city. Those are all the definitions that support the community. Those are how you are going to score um, your programs, essentially the capital request today. Okay, so community needs, this is the second goal, community needs arts, culture, and education. Um, provides for the preservation of the community's history and heritage. Offers diverse opportunities. Ensures that all levels and types of education are available. Those type of things, those are the definitions that support the community needs, arts, culture, and education. The third one is the community needs safety, health, and socioeconomic. And then there's many definitions that go on, all really good definitions. So needed to happen, um, provides for the overall personal safety of its residents and visitors. That's hugely important to our community. Encourages and supports adequate supply and variety of housing that meets the diverse needs of the community. So those are definitions that support that goal. Economic development, obviously, we're a largely invested tourism town. Um, I think about 82% of what we do is tourism. So economic development and continuing to develop our economy um, is highly important to us, and there's the definitions behind it. Infrastructure and environment, um, this is the other, another goal, and those are the definitions behind it. Continually expand its efforts to develop new strategies for energy efficiency, acts as a good steward of the land and the environment, ensures the air quality is maintained, et cetera. Those are all definitions behind that. Land use, obviously land use is very important and how the land is used for the um, residents as well as our tourists. And then parks, open space, and recreation. Um, this is really important to our residents, and we've heard that over the last couple of years, and um, even to our tourists. I mean, in this day and age with COVID and all of that, um, a lot of people, including myself and my family, we're out riding bikes. We're out utilizing the trails and stuff to kind of keep us away from the crowds, but still keep my kids active in those things. So those things are really important as today. Tourism. As I just said, tourism is really 82%-ish of our economy today. And so we have to be able to maintain our tourism and provide our visitors a really great experience. And so all of these definitions behind the tourism, those are what you will be scoring those capital requests. Transportation, <clears throat> excuse me. 
Um, again, um, I don't want to be too repetitive, but these are the definitions behind transportation. Um, develops and sustains a safe, convenient, and efficient public transportation. Develops a clear way finding system to help residents and visitors. Those are some examples of the definitions behind transportation. And then here's the governance results. And the governance results really goes to meet the really the internal needs, the internal workings of the government in order to us for us to be able to do those community results. Um, and these are the definitions that support governance, provide assurance of regulatory and policy compliant, supports decision making with timely and accurate short term and long term range analysis, protects, manages, optimizes and invests in human financial and physical and technology resources. All of those support good governance. So um, those are all the definitions on our results maps. Um, and the goals that you're going to be scoring against today. So I just wanted to give you a brief um, overview of that so that you have a reminder. On all of the spreadsheets that we're going to be looking at today, I will um, remind you that above every goal, you're going to see all the definitions up there too. And I, if you need me to, we'll revisit these results maps, no problem. Okay? Okay. One of the things that I wanted you all to remember, some questions to ask yourself when scoring, um, does this capital item affect the results? And to what degree does the capital item contribute to the city achieving this result? So just some basic questions that when you're thinking about this and you're going through the scores, think about asking yourself these type of questions because it's not, um, it's, it's important to keep in mind it's not a personal thing for any of us out here. It's something that we need you to really um, talk about it through with yourselves and really put the best score that you think achieve the best results, okay? Okay. We're going to go forward, Melissa, to the community. We're going to start on arts, culture, and education. I'm going to start with the community first. That seems to help you all out a little bit. And we've got several to get through today, and that's why the meeting was so long. So we were going to do the 2021 and 2022. We're going to start with 2021 just to see how far we get, OK? All right. The first one is um, planning department. The program name is new vehicle. It's to replace an old vehicle. Um, the description is replacement of a 2002 Ford Explorer currently in use by the building division. The vehicle currently has 135,000 miles and maintenance costs to date in excess of $9,000. The vehicle was set for replacement in 2012 and has been identified on the general fund equipment replacement schedule as poor um, replace soon. The vehicle was additionally approved and budgeted to be replaced in 2020, but we had to remove it due to COVID. Okay, so... Here is the first goal, arts, culture, and education. What does this program or this capital request um, do to achieve this arts, culture, and education? Does it ensure that all levels and types of education are available, accessible, attainable, serving all ages, abilities, and demographics, and safe environment? Those are the things that you want to look you want to look at the program, then you want to look at the definitions, and then the grading criteria is four is the highest you can get. In this case, program is essential or critical to achieving this result. Or a three, program has a strong influence on achieving this result. Or a two, program has some degree, and then a one has some minimal influence, and then zero obviously has no influence on achieving this result. So. What I like to do is say, what score would you like to give it? We're open for discussion. This is the first one, and then we'll get moving a little bit quicker, but I wanted to kind of walk you through this first one. Purpose of the vehicle. It's for um, the building division. Right, I get Inspections that. type stuff. So it's just a vehicle to drive to back and forth from inspections, and that's it? Yes. It doesn't do any hauling of... Uh, Maintenance equipment. I wouldn't think so. Not this one. Is this a uh, vehicle? I, I don't want this to sound like Jeopardy. I'm That's sorry. okay. I'm, I'm looking at Joel to make sure my answers are correct. So, Is it uh, this is a safety issue? Is the vehicle broken down now? 
Well, one thing to keep in mind about the vehicles is, uh, as y'all are aware, we have an uh, enterprise fleet um, lease process in place right now. One thing to keep in mind about all these older vehicles is the maintenance costs on these older vehicles. So you may have a vehicle, and this vehicle, uh, we have put over $9,000 into right. this vehicle when it's not even coming close to being worth that. So those are the things that you have to take into consideration with I that. that. I would think, however, just focusing on the criteria. That's right. Right now, to me, it's a zero or a one. Yeah, so that's a good point from Stan. You got to look at the definitions and how does this vehicle achieve the results of arts, culture, and education? So that's what you kind of have to look at. And at the end, when we're done... It will catch up in other areas. It will. When, when we're done um, scoring process. all of these, then we'll compile them and give you the set score for the next meeting so this, you know what the ultimate overall score will be. This is the same be. process we used last yes, year. Yes, so absolutely. It certainly is. So Thank you. Agreement at zero. 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 Does everybody agree with that, or do anybody else have any discussion on that? A zero for arts, culture, and education? Okay. The next one is another vehicle replacement, replacement of a 2004 Chevy Colorado, um, currently in use by the building division, uh, similar type of asset. And I, so I would agree with that. what someone else said, that it's pretty much the same. And don't worry, Joel, we're going to get you some new cars. Here. Well, this isn't a personal <laughs> thing, remember. No. we got to score it, too. Uh, yeah, I know. And, and, <laughs> okay. But that's in the arts and culture so yes. side of life, I just think this is a zero as well. Yes. Okay, M Melissa, are you putting these down? In it, huh? Okay. Okay, so number three, we're moving right through this. This is good. Um, program name for number three, this is utilities, additional sewer camera equipment and trailer system, scheduled addition of second sewer camera equipment system. The planned addition of a second camera system will provide the ability to perform more gravity sewer system inspections and maintenance. Okay, and then the rest of that definition is there. What does the... Um, camera equipment for the sewer system due to meet arts, culture, and education? Well, I sure hope nothing. <laughs> <laughs> if it does, we're in trouble. <laughs> okay. Are we all in agreement? Zero? Okay. Let's move on. Um, the next one is utilities also. It's advanced metering infrastructure system. We'll call it AMI for short. It's AMI equipment system improved the process of collecting water meter data and subsequent billing by providing staff and customers with immediate access to current waste, excuse me, to current water usage. The objective is to provide the most economical and reliable service to customers by providing timely access to data in the home or business. Um, what does that do to meet the needs of the arts, culture, and education? Is it essential or does it have any influence whatsoever? No, Stan says no. Does everybody agree? Zero. It doesn't do anything to meet arts, culture, and education. Now remember, don't look at Stan. The reason that Stan made this process change is because I want this be, to be done right. by our citizens, right. not by Stan. <laughs> yes. And that's why we say it's not personal. We're here to answer questions, but we want to make sure this comes from y'all in the best facilitated way that I can, okay? It's a zero. 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 We're moving on. Okay. Uh, demo of concrete tanks lift station, 31 and 36. This is also utilities. These are large concrete basins from previously used sewer treatment plants. Ew. That were recently used for the lift station. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> Um, so, what does those um, demolition of concrete tanks lift stations do to meet arts, culture, and education? Zero. Zero. Okay, let's move on. Um, the Dewey Bold Tower, phase one and two, utilities. Remember, these are all just capital item requests, and I call them programs. Uh, water system improvements to provide water service to annexed area of the city not currently provided. Essentially another water tower in a, a location that's needed. What does that do uh, to meet arts, culture, and education? Right, right now, nothing. Now Zero. If can, now, if we can need a new school in that area, we're going to need that water, but nothing at the moment. <laughs> Currently, we're saying zero. Okay. Um, groundwater well service fund. The internal service fund program is, is to set aside monies for rebuild or replacement of groundwater well equipment for the city's six backup groundwaters. Um, what does that do to achieve arts, culture, and education's results? Zero. Okay. Everybody agree with that? 
Okay. All right. The next one is rebuild Compton effluent pumps. <laughs> I won't read that definition because I think we're going to get into a lot of the similar stuff. So what do y'all think? Zero. How does it meet arts, culture, and Zero. education? Zero? Zero. Okay. Zero is, we're moving on. Um, the next one is also utilities. Um, <clears throat> maintenance facility building number two. This project will be engineering to add a second building at the water distribution and sewer collection facilities. What does that do for arts, culture, and education? Does it achieve the results or not at all? Okay, zero. zero. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> Um, replace 2005 Chevy Trailblazer. This is for public works. Um, this will consist of replacing the streets department. MS4 stormwater coordinator Chevy Trailblazer. It's a vehicle replacement. We missed one on the chlorine. Did I miss one? The chlorine leak. Chlorine leak scrubber. scrubber. Oh. The scrubber. Oh my goodness. <laughs> on the back Never mind. Side. Yes. Sorry. Zero. zero. Trying to conserve paper. Okay. Zero. Next one. Zero. Flooring. Stairway repairs for Pacific Water Street Zero. Tower. How does that go to meet arts, culture, and education? Repairing the stairway. Zero? Okay. Painting Branson Landing Boulevard and Veterans Bridge pedestrian railing. How does that go to meet arts, culture, and education? Well, it depends on who's going to paint it. <laughs> <laughs> well, as... Um, Exist, existing pedestrian walkway railing on both the Branson Landing, it's, Boulevard Bridge, and the Veterans I'm Bridge. I'm messing with you. It's, Arts, culture, and education. It's a, Does it achieve it or not really? Unless it's decorative in some way, <laughs> which it's not. Zero. Okay, we're moving on. Y'all are really just getting the hang of this. Okay. Um, painting, well, we already did that one. Cod, Cod, Cod sorry, Caudill Way, low water crossing. Replacement of existing low water crossing with a box culvert structure on the Codwell Way. Zero. Zero. Arts, culture, education, zero. A lot of these will probably be the same. 165 and 76 intersection improvements. How does that meet arts, culture, and education? Stan says zero. Anybody else? Zero. Okay. Celtic Bridge replacement. I remember this discussion last year. <laughs> How does that go to meet arts, culture, and education? Zero. Zero. Okay. Paint striper. Zero. Zero. Everybody agree with that? Okay. Paint striper. Zero. Plotter upgrade. How about that one? Arts, culture, and education. Zero. Everybody else agree with that? Zero. Yes, zero. Yes, okay, zero. Public Works, again, um, 2009 radar trailer. The trailer is used for traffic studies, including vehicle speed and vehicle counts. And we're talking about arts, culture, and education. Stan says zero. Does everybody agree? Yes. Okay. Hey, can, I, can I ask a question while we're there? And I apologize. I don't mean to jump off. Where, where's Keith? Right there. there he is. Will this, I, I understand what is going to be done with this, but will our new traffic camera system help instead of having to deploy that thing everywhere, it'll be more limited or? Is it like the one down Fall Creek Road? Didn't the, didn't the police department get a new one? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. That, that's what I was trying to, I was trying to remember. I thought we had a new one. I didn't, I thought it was the police department's. Okay. Next, zero turn mower. No. The equipment is used by the street department to maintain the city's right of way of green spaces. Zero turn mower for arts, culture, and education. Zero. Zero. Okay. Everybody agree with that? Okay. Uh, Jamie, on the bucket truck, mm -hmm. that would be my next question. I know this is, I, I know the answer to this when I'm doing this for everyone else's sure. education when we get further on in the process. That bucket truck can be purchased through Enterprise or leased through Enterprise because it's got a VIN. Anything with correct? a title. Yes, right. sir. Okay. Marvelous. Purchase of a used bucket truck. This one's a used one, though. So purchase of a used bucket truck with capabilities of reaching at least 44 feet. Um, how does that go to meet arts, culture, and education? Zero. I got some zeros. Everybody agree? This is kind Zero. of fun. 
Okay, um, here's another vehicle replacement, Ford Explorer, for the Public Works Department. How does that go to meet arts, culture, and education? Zero. Everybody agree? Okay, moving on. Um, 2005 Chevy Trailblazer for Public Works. Arts, culture, and education. Zero. Zero. Everybody agree? Okay, moving on. Here's another one. Uh, Public Works. Man, there's a lot of vehicles. Public Works, 2012 <laughs> Ford Escape. How does that go to meet arts, culture, and education? Zero. Zero. Okay. Everybody agree with that on the vehicles? Okay, the next one is the Transportation Master Plan. Um, and we've had these uh, descriptions before, so I won't go through read it unless y'all want me to, but how does the transportation master plan go to meet arts, culture, and education? Does it or not? Zero. zero. Everybody think of zero? Yeah. Yeah, I... I... Okay. Um, <laughs> later. The next one is the brush chipper. Um, I know we had this discussion last year, too. Public Works brush chipper. Okay. Zero. 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 Arts, culture, education, zero. Okay. Pick up um, a Ford F-350 pickup with plow. Public works. Zero. Zero. Okay. Um, fire station and police headquarters design and construction. Arts, culture, and education. Zero. Zero. Does it meet any of those definitions at all? Well, it could be a one to me because uh, they're... The, the design of them could have to do with the art, and then the uh, the buildings will be used partially for education. So I would think you could justify a one. Okay. I, I could see a one. I could see a one. Okay. Everybody agree with a one? I'd still give it a zero, but I'll defer. All in favor of zero. <laughs> they promised me an office hidden somewhere, so I'm giving them a one. <laughs> Ones have it. <laughs> Um, Highway 76, Segment 1 and 2 Design. How does that go to meet arts, culture, and education? Remember when you're looking at it, don't just think about arts, culture, and education. Go back to the definitions right. of these goals and make sure that these definitions fit into your scoring. So how does the Highway 76, 1 and 2 Design meet the needs of the definitions behind art, culture, and education. Is this the undergrounding of the utilities? No, this is the actual design phase for okay. the next. So the aesthetics and the um, accessibility of right. pedestrians and stuff, um, I think might have a little bit more into the arts and education yes. just because of, um, because it's pleasing. And that's where I was leaning because supports that, and encourages cultural and yeah, that would be all encompassing mm -hmm. of of what well, it's not high, but I do think it's more than a zero. That's just my yeah. opinion. Though, a lot I, two. I, I was leaning at one or two. So okay, two. two? Everybody two. think two is good. Okay, two it is. There's your undergrounding bill. Okay. Undergrounding segment three, Highway 76 utility undergrounding for segment three, public works. How does that go to meet the definitions behind arts, culture, and education? I see a zero. Does everybody agree with that? Okay. Next one is um, utilities rebuild Compton Drive return pumps. There's four of them. Zero. Zero? Correct. Zero? Okay. Zero. Okay. The next one is the lift station 46, the install pump and controls. Zero. How does that meet the definitions behind this goal? Zero. Okay. Everybody agree with that? Okay. Lift station number four, gravity sewer, Zero. the construct engineering. Zero. Zero. Is everybody on the same page? Okay. Um, this is next one is utilities, program number 2134, rebuild and replace lift station 21, pump. Zero. 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 Okay. Zero. <laughs> the next station is a, uh, um, excuse me, the next one is a scheduled lift station pump rebuild again. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Okay. Let me just ask a question in order to save time, I scan <laughs> all the way down there. Yeah, I see all the way down zeros. Zero. That's correct. Yeah. Does everybody agree with that, or do you want to take a moment to look at them? I've scanned. Okay. I'm good with zero. Okay. 
Okay, all the way down on that page is zero. So all the way down to program number 2147 is all zeros. Got it, Melissa? Gotcha, thanks. 2145 is what I, well. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's on our page. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, yeah, we only got the seat. Yeah, that's the three-quarter ton utility truck is the last one on right. the page. Right. Okay, so the valve... Where was it? It was a zero. All was, zeros, If yes. it's a vehicle, unless it's yes. specifically, in my opinion, unless it's specifically designed to help one of the schools to transport... No. <laughs> it's a stretch. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> with as much snow as we got. <laughs> so now on our next page, we start with program 2146, add valve exercise. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so yeah, that one, <laughs> the trailer. Um, and I swear I hope that doesn't have anything to do with art. <laughs> I, I, How is 2146? What do y'all think? Zero. Okay. Um, how about 2147, the Pacific Street Tower um, air conditioning replacement? Zero. Does everybody agree with that? Yes. Okay. Moving on. Um, 2148, repair Meadows filter rehab and walls. What do y'all think about that one? How does it meet arts, culture, and education? Zero. Okay. Does everybody agree with that? Yes. Okay. Moving on. 2149, uh, it's a vehicle replacement for utilities. Okay, next one, a Rectplex water tower renovation. Uh, utilities, 2150. What do y'all think about that one? How does it meet arts, culture, and education definitions? For, for those definitions, it's a zero. Okay, I'd agree with that. Okay, so Compton Drive flood protection, utilities. If we don't have it, we won't have any anyway. That's true. <laughs> but so how does it meet I, it, the definitions? <laughs> yeah, so how zero. does it meet the definitions of this goal? Something. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. I mean, that's not important. It's no. Not important right. Yeah. And that's essentially what y'all's role is. We're just here to answer any questions you have. You have the right to put down whatever your thoughts are. Okay. Iserman Park walking path. Parks and Rec. 2152, how does it meet arts, culture, and education, the definitions? Uh, that could be, to me, a culture. Yes. I had a one for that. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I, like I said, I, it's not high, but I, I think it does fit a one or two. higher than a zero, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everybody agree with a one on that? Anybody have any other thoughts? Okay. One it is. I'm the same with the Cantwell Park Rehabilitation Project as well. Okay. Yes. Program number 2153. A one? Yeah. Arts, culture, and education? Does everybody agree with yeah, that? Yeah, I'd give it a one. I think really bad need of repair, but it's not much arts and culture. Yeah, so how does it well, fit the way they into put this graffiti goal? On the, the, now, the graffiti on the wall could be art. There's no place <laughs> to put it anymore. It's all, it's all falling apart. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we set a one for that? Yeah. One. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay, the next one is a replacement of a mower for the Parks and Rec. Yeah. Zero. 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 Everybody agree? Okay. Uh, the next one is a vehicle replacement for Parks and Rec. Zero. Zero. Okay, moving on. Okay, the next one is a the community center access road. Parks and Rec, how does it meet arts, culture, and education? Well, that's where we do have several activities uh, that might fall under a cultural aspect. I could see a one on that. All right. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Especially with them new fancy pickleball courts. Okay. <laughs> so, are we giving that a one? Yes. One. Just okay. One. Um, the next one is 2157 replacement utility terrain vehicle. For Parks and Rec, how does that meet arts, culture, and education, the definitions provided? Zero. Zero. Does everybody agree with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the next one is for Parks and Rec, a hydraulic pump tra uh, dump trailer, program number 2158. How does that go to meet the arts, culture, and education definitions? Zero. Zero. Does everybody agree with zero? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Um, the next one's 2159, camp campground site improvements for the Parks and Rec. What does that do to meet arts, culture, and education, and remember the definitions? From what we're talking about, I'd say it was a zero. I do think you know, later on this is going to be a much higher uh, score because it has the opportunity to actually enhance our revenue stream. So for arts, culture, and education, you give it a zero for this one. Everybody else? Okay. Zero. The next one is the Recplex Exterior Building Painting, 2160. How does that meet arts, culture, and education, the definitions behind that goal? There's a potential for that. Yeah, uh, and I just say that zero. Somebody has a zero. I, I, I could have gave it a one just because I think it does lead to enhance the uh, aesthetics of the region. If we let the building run down and don't do that, then it, it actually takes away from art or culture. Okay, does it provide for the preservation of the community's history? Does it ensure that all levels and types of education are available? Does it support and encourage cultural enrichment, performing arts? Does it offer diverse opportunities for lifelong learning, access to informational resources? One. 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 Zero and a one. Zero, all in favor of zero? Okay, so the ones have it. It'll get a four when we get to parks. Yeah. Okay. Um, the next one is a vehicle replacement zero. for the parks. It's the trash truck. Zero. Although I've seen some great art made out of trash. <laughs> the next one is 2162 Parnell Park Improvements. How does that go to meet the arts, culture, and education? Yeah, I, 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 yeah, absolutely. I agree with that. Does everybody agree with a one? Yes. Okay, one. Um, the next one is the command staff vehicle for the fire department. Zero. Zero. Okay. Does everybody agree with that? For the next two. Okay. Yeah. Um, twenty-one sixty-four is a fire engine replacement. Do you think zero on that? And then 2165 is another vehicle replacement for fire. Zero. Zero. Okay. Um, the outdoor warning siren replacement. Zero. Arts, culture, and education. Everybody agree with the zero? Okay. Um, the next one is the C SCBA compressor and cascade system for fire. Zero. Okay. Everybody agree with the zero? Arts, culture, and education. Okay. Um, the next one is utilities for Spring Creek water mains. Zero. Zero. Everybody agree with that? Okay. The next one is the Cooper Creek upgrades. Zero. Um, zero. Everybody agree with that? Yeah. For arts, culture, sure. Yeah. Um, analytics software for police. Zero. For arts, culture, and education. Zero. Okay. Um, here's another police, 2176. Less lethal launcher. There's no description by that, so I don't know what that is. But well, that sounds cultural right there. <laughs> that is a that will be a zero in this category. Okay. <laughs> I didn't well, score because I didn't know what there's it was. There's no description. It is a uh, it is a device that uh, launches uh, a projectile that is uh, considered to be a less lethal option. It's not that it can't be lethal, depending upon where it strikes an individual, but it's a less lethal option rather than having to shoot someone, unfortunately. It's like bean bags? It's, like, it's kind of like a bean bag. I would assume this one is probably going to be utilized with a sponge round. Okay. Um, so we scored a zero, or zero. did y'all say yeah, zero? It, it, okay. it is a zero in arts okay. and culture. The next one is um, Motorola Cody Systems Interface. That's a zero. Okay. Everybody agree with a zero on that? Okay. That's class, yes. Um, patrol replacement vehicles for the police department. Zero. It's a zero in this zero. area. Zero. Okay. Um, citywide unmanned aerial vehicle. I'm guessing that's a drone. Yes, it is. It is okay. a drone, and it, in my opinion, it's a zero in this category. Okay. Arts, culture, and education. Zero. Does everybody agree with the zero? Okay. Um, citywide. Wait a minute. Water guard. Yes, I already did that one. Watch guard yeah. integration for the police department, 2180. It's a camera. Zero. 
Zero. It's a zero in this area. Okay. Um, how about the interview room equipment? Update the equipment in the interview room for police. It's a zero in zero. this area. Everybody agree? <laughs> yeah. Um, next one is the housing project parking lot administration um, department. 2182. Zero. Is this the one that's Jerry says a two for arts, culture, and education. Next door to the library. Yes. Yeah. This is the housing authority, yes. It would help with parking for the library is my understanding, so I, I was willing to give it a one. Um, it's basically, it's demo demolishing um, those two buildings, making a parking lot for the housing authority to be able to park and not on the street. Okay. It is one a or two? One. one? And library. Zero for me. Mike says zero. Michael says zero. Jerry, you say two. Bob says one. So. Everybody that says two, raise their hands. Okay, we got two. Everybody says one. Okay, the ones have it. Okay. okay. Um, this is kind of fun. <laughs> I get to be the teacher. <laughs> okay, um, the next one is fire and police building design. There's no description, but this is for engineering. I think the program name pretty much speaks for itself. It's strictly the engineering side, I would say zero. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Everybody agree with that? Okay. Utilities, wastewater conveyance study. Zero. Zero. Okay. 2201, water master plan update for utilities. Zero. Arts, Zero. culture, and education. Okay. Um, next one is the city hall carpeting, public works. Zero. Arts, culture, and education. Zero. Okay. Everybody agree with zero on that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, next one is pavement management system update. Zero. Zero. Does everybody agree with a zero? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Zero. Next one is a vehicle replacement for public works. Zero. Zero. Okay. Zero. Um, another vehicle replacement for public works. Zero. Um, okay. 2206 um, is a John Deere backhoe. For public works, Zero. arts, culture, and education. Okay. Just make a suggestion going all the way down to 2210, the same. Yeah, thing. zero, zero. Okay, zero. those are uh, equipment and vehicle replacements. So 20, all the way down to 2210 is a zero. Does everybody agree with that? Yes. Okay. Uh, 2211 is for utilities. It's a an advanced metering infrastructure system. Hang on, we've lost our computer uh -oh. expert here. All the way to 2210. I'm sorry. Okay. There you go. Okay. 2211, the advanced metering infrastructure. Zero. Zero. For arts, didn't, culture, and education. Didn't we go over one of those already? Is that a, a oh, that's for 2022. Yes. You okay. know what? We'll stop. I'm sorry, Melissa, you're right. 2021, we're going to stop at 2021 items and okay. go, um, unless y'all want to just do uh, 2021 and 2022 for each goal. I'd like to get off a of zero for a while. <laughs> so you want to just do I, Honestly, in my opinion, and you all, I'll leave it up to them, but I would prefer to get 2021 done. Okay. Yes. And then if we have time, we can go to 2022. That's good. That's fine. That's what we had planned on. I just... Because um, 2022 what, may be an entirely different... Yeah. Scenario. It Absolutely. could be since we're in a, since we do the budget biennial, so that's why we have it out there like that. Okay. So are we going back to the very first one we've done already? For community character, we're going to go to, yes, we're going to go to. My, my format's not like that, so I just want to make sure that I. We're going to go to the next goal, and we're going to go through, y'all are going to get to know these requests very well, because we're going to go through those with each goal. So this will be what page on us? Uh, one. All right. This is demand on the top. This is for the community character. I don't know how it is on your iPads. I'm community sorry. Could, you, could we brief real quickly see the definitions again for this yes. category? Uh, Melissa, will you put the results maps up for the community character? Okay. Well, and for the future, I know we're trying to do as paperless as possible, but I think it would be really nice if each one of the folks here had the uh, results maps the, yeah, in writing so we could refer to it. You know what? I mean, I can have them printed off if you would like. If, it if makes somebody it could while we're doing this, I'm not saying we need to stop, but. 
Okay. Would, I think because Sir? especially in this one, there is a whole lot to read. Yes, absolutely. And um, I have mine. <laughs> so um, Stacy just went to take care of that. We just can a few minutes. Around if, you... if you want. No. But you might get my germs. So. <laughs> yes. Okay, so community character, just real quick, since you don't have a hard copy in front of you right now, reduces visual clutter, improves wayfinding with an improved signage system, and offers a clean, visually appealing, and sufficiently regulated community appearance. That's one definition. The next one is preserves and revitalizes the historic character of its downtown, ensuring that its buildings are well-maintained and contribute to the scale and quality of the district as a pedestrian-friendly destination point. Um, the next one is ensures that the 76 Country Boulevard supports properties and buildings that contribute to the character of Branson as a unique entertainment destination and offers safe, congestive, free traffic flow. The next one is sustains and invests in a community of cohesive, diverse, attractive, and safe neighborhoods. Um, the next one is offers notable pronounced gateways into the city with distinguishing landscapes and identifying elements that project community values, leaving a lasting impression on our visitors. The next one is it enhances its major corridors within the city with cohesive, attractive, and distinguishing landscape character signage and other identifying elements that project community pride and visual interest. The next one, it provides for efficient and effective traffic flow that makes it easy to travel throughout the city while ensuring a connected system of trails and pedestrian-friendly walkway. Basically, it's everything. Those are a lot of definitions, but it's just basically everything that adds to who we are as a city of Branson. See, this is where I think lawnmowers become critical. Aesthetics. <laughs> Under community care. Okay, so y'all ready to move on with this one? Yes. Okay, so knowing that we're doing community character and also know that the definitions are at the top of the spreadsheet too. Since you don't have your results maps, we, we have the definitions at the top if you want to um, refer back hard. to them. It's hard for us to it scroll is. up and down. I agree with that, yes, it is. So just in case you wanted to do it until we get these out for you. Okay, the uh, vehicle replacement for planning, 2100. How does that go to meet community character and the definitions we just read? Is it essential or critical in achieving the result? Does it have any influence at all? I see it does have influence Building. personally. Uh, I, I, I would probably give it a three in, from my position, just because it, it, while it's not life, a matter of life or death if we replace that vehicle, it does enhance uh, our planning of our trails, our streets, our walkways, uh, it doesn't reduce clutter or anything like that, but the planning department is one of the key elements to making sure our city continues to grow and is aesthetically pleasing to our guests. It keeps our cities clean and free from clutter with all those businesses out there that could... That, well, that's true. Yeah, that's, that's this is true. going from where it is to that leasing program. Is that... Well, no, that yes. Was all of our vehicles, mm -hmm. any vehicle just to make sure everybody's aware, any vehicle that we can get from Enterprise, that is where we will be going to because it greatly reduces mm -hmm. not only our initial cost, but our maintenance cost, which is, which is what we are, we are seeing tremendous savings in. This, this vehicle held back an abeyance or is it turned over for uh, surplus and then auctioned off? This one would be turned over for surplus and auctioned off. The city owns it outright. Mm -hmm. On the scale with it being a three, Stan, that's uh, kind of give me why it would rank that high. Well, um, it is difficult for the planning department folks to actually do their job to go out to the sites and to review the building and planning projects okay. with the developers. So I think it is critical for them to be able to get transportation. It's like I said. Uh, it doesn't quite hit the four for me, but it does, it, I, I do, I, I fought with myself over a two or three, and I thought that uh, honestly the, the three was probably the more fair scoring because it, it without it, uh, we would continue to struggle uh, to get our job done, or anyway, I should say the planning guys would. Does anybody else Thank have you. anything else I'll to add? Okay. 
And remember, when you're making those decisions, remember to try to fit that back into these definitions. So does yep. everybody agree with the three? Michael, do you have something else to add? I went with a two, but. Yeah, I was going um, with a two. And, I, I and Stan two. makes a good point, but we're, in some of the other categories, it's going to be much stronger. Yeah. I, I uh, and, and I agree with you. That's why I said I fought between a two and a three. Uh, but for this particular. I, I personally have no problem with the two, I if that's where you all would like to go. So. Joel yeah. paid me five dollars. No. So, right. so let's go just real quick as just as a reminder. This isn't a personal thing. So we're right, just right. here to answer right. questions, whether or not it's going to achieve results in the future or other goals is not really the point. It's does it fit into this goal? And so I just wanted to reiterate that to y'all. Make sure that it fits into the goal and all the definitions around it. Um, and then essentially when all of those goals are scored, it's gonna come back and give you one, where does it fit within the core tiles? So is it important to achieving our overall results or not? That's kind of the idea, okay? So what do we give um, the vehicle replacements? I think we agreed upon a two. Two, okay, we'll go with two. Let me ask you something before we move. Certainly. Forward. Because what's going on in the back of my mind is the affordability issue and the budget issue. And I don't want that to cloud this part of this well, discussion. And, right? and I'm going to tell you this. Uh, this is another part of that decision process that I have, I have to fight with myself on a lot. Because we're not really talking about the money right now. It, if, I were, if I were categorizing the, these two requests between the vehicles, I would replace the next one before I would replace the top one. Simply because of the, the mileage and the... the Use involved, and then they would have they would have the, the the newer one as their primary, and this one would become a backup. But I, we aren't supposed to be thinking about money right now, just no. where they fit in the category. Right. That was the crux of my question, right there. Should we be thinking about money? Not at all, out? because we don't know what's going to happen to tomorrow, and the economy may crash, and none of this may get funded, or the alternative may happen, and it may boom, and all of it gets funded. That's not what the point is. The point is, these are programs, these are requests. How do they achieve the results that our community has told us is important? Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Two for me. Two. Two. Okay. Is that 2101? Everybody agree with a two? Okay, next one is 2102. It's the sewer camera equipment for utilities. How does it achieve the results for community character? Is it essential, critical? Is there a strong influence? Is there minimal or none at all? I didn't see much. I, I, I gave it a zero. zero. Zero, everybody agree with that? Okay, um, next one is 2103, the AMI system. Um, what do y'all think on the community character? How does it achieve the results, the definitions behind the community of character? I didn't see anything there either, personally. Okay. Um, the dem Okay, everybody think it's a zero? Okay. How about the demolition of the concrete tanks for the lift stations? How does that achieve community character in the definitions we've given? Zero. Zero? Everybody that, agree? I gave that a one. Well, I gave it a one because, because I thought we're, get, we're actually getting rid of it. An eyesore is going yeah. away. It's just okay. laying around and we have to destroy it. And That's all right. Remember when you're speaking, pull your microphones a little bit close, just so, just so the people on the... Everybody's got on mask, it's kind of hard to hear anyway. I, I apologize to everybody for the way I'm setting, just so the world knows I have a knee injury and it's causing me not to be able to do certain things. Just So I'm not being flippant or being crazy when I'm setting like this. He's on <laughs> you, so, you say that. Huh? Sure, Stan. Well, I've, been, I I, I've, I've had people say, you need to set up straight, and I wish I could. Yeah. Um, okay, so what did we think on that one? 2104, just... One or I zero? It, I gave it a one. Does everybody think one. one's okay? One, yes. Okay, there's some minimal achievement. Okay, you got that, Melissa? One? Okay, so we're moving on to um, the Dewey Bald Water Tower, and we're talking about community character. How does the water tower achieve the results of community character? I didn't see anything personally. Okay. Stan says zero. What about anybody else? Zero. Zero? 
Everybody agree with zero on that? Okay, moving on to the next one. 2106, Groundwater Well Service Fund. Zero. Zero. Everybody agree? Yeah. Okay. Next one, 2107, Rebuilding Compton Effluent Pumps. Zero. Community character, zero. Everybody agree? Okay. Next one, um, the maintenance facility for utilities. How does that achieve community character results? Zero. 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 Okay. Everybody agree with that? Yes, sir. Can I argue with that one? Sure. Go ahead. You're it everybody. All that stuff that's in the grounds and it puts it under road and it makes the community look better, more organized together. This is a second one, a second building. So, how does that meet the definitions? Um, reduces so. visual clutter in, okay. I guess, I'm, that's, that's Mike, right? There we go. Mike, how much equipment do you have setting outside that this would house? I, I would have to agree with Jerry. I, I think, was that Jerry that said that? Uh -huh. I'd give that a one. Does anybody else agree with that or no? Michael, do you have something? No, I don't. Have My only question would be how how much of the public actually yeah, sees. How much, yeah. yeah, how much public access is there to that facility? I mean, I, I understand what it does, but for the community perception, right. I mean, it's probably only city employees that actually are ever there to see any of the decluttering, correct? So, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm okay. I mean, what I'm else? One. I'm, I'm not going <coughs> to. I'm flexible too. I, I I'm just uh, I, zero or one are so close together. Zero and so one are really close. To to my only thing is they do have people that do come up in there for tours, okay. and whether you believe that or not, the school children and. Uh, oh, the leadership academy <laughs> goes there for a tour yes. too, as part of their. So you want to make it a one time. because it one. does reduce some yeah. clutter. Okay. okay. One. All right. Okay. Now this one I got a zero one. Um, the chlorine scrubber. Yes. 2110. What do y'all think? How does that achieve community Zero. results? Zero. Zero. How about 2111, the stairway repairs for the water tower? Community character, what is that? What do y'all think on that one? Zero. Zero? Do we have tours that go up in that? Is that? Maybe not the stairs. There's elevators on the inside. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't see a lot of people that use those stairs, do they? From, I mean, not that aren't employees, I should say. Head. Right. Yeah. But for community but character for community and the definitions, yeah, yeah. I would agree. What did we end up with? I would say that's a one because that's very visible. If that one. One starts to look run down, which uh, that's what will happen to stairs. Okay. Then it's a detriment. Uh, Mr. Simmons says um, one because it's very visible to the public. Are we on twenty one eleven? Yes. The stairway repair, 2111. Well, I guess first, what are the repairs? Is it's it pretty painting? rusted. They're rust. Is it painting them, or do we need to get rid of rust and actually replace them, or? There's some corrosion on the metal portions, but mostly it's the concrete steps. Uh, have have uh, deteriorated and start to. Uh, well, if they're rusting apart. and the public, you know, they doesn't they don't need to see. I would agree with yeah. that that the public doesn't need, uh, as far as community character goes, then there would be a a one or a two. Any more thoughts? We have one. We have zero. One. one? Everybody one. one. Okay. One dis. Next one: painting Branson Landing Boulevard. Um, and Veterans Bridge railing, public works. How does that achieve community character and the definitions three. behind those? Yeah, I give three. Yeah, that's that's a three. It's a high traffic area. Okay. Gateway. Okay. Does everybody agree with the three? Yes. Okay. Three on that one. Um, the Cottle Way low water crossing. How does that achieve community character? Is it essential in achieving the result, or does it achieve it at all? Well, it does provide for efficient and effective traffic flow for that area. But that's just that one little area. This is this is for an emergency exit, isn't it, Mike? Or is it Keith? 
It's to provide an additional exit when there's right. subdivision. Yes, which you'll see is at number twenty one sixteen. Right. So yeah, it, it I. So for community for community character and the definitions behind that, how does this achieve those results? I give it a three. It's important. Does it meet the, the definitions goal. behind the goal? Zero. Does it achieve the definition? I, I gave it I'd give it a two because it it will enhance the visual uh, sight down there of that right now it just looks like an old fashioned war out low crossing. That uh, and that's why I, I, I give it a two. I don't know. For me, it doesn't get up to the three level in this area. So now, that, so sustains and invests in a community of cohesive, diverse, attractive, and safe neighborhoods. So would that be part of the safe neighborhood? I think it would. I, I mean, I would agree with that. Yeah, if it goes out, they're stuck. I mean, the other stuff, I don't think it hits. So it meets one stuff. definition. Well, of seven, maybe. Are I there, got it in two in there. Efficient and effective traffic flow. Yeah, okay. Are there two other entrances to that it area? It makes it easy though? to travel. There's right. one other one. Yeah, it's, it's the Celtic Bridge. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is all. Awesome. Okay, thank you. So, what do y'all think? One, two. I gave it a two. 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 Okay. Me. Everybody agree with the two? You can live with a two. Okay. I think it's going to score higher in another area. Yeah, we'll get over to that. Infrastructure. Okay. The next one is 2115, Highway 165 and 76 intersection improvements. I gave that a two. So um, ensures that 76 Country Boulevard supports properties and buildings that contribute to the character of Branson as a unique entertainment destination, enhances its major corridors with the city with cohesive, attractive, and distinguishing landscapes. Um, all of those. What are your thoughts on that one? Does it achieve the results? Is it essential to achieving that result? Not at all, or does it do it just a little bit? It will help with the traffic flow. Yeah. It does provide for efficient and effective traffic flow that makes it easy to travel. That's the right. left bubble. I think it could be a three. Three? Yeah. I'll give it a three. Okay. Next one is the Celtic Bridge replacement. Twenty-one sixteen Celtic Bridge replacement. How does that achieve the community character results? Is it critical, essential to do it, achieving that result, or really not at all? I gave it a one. One. Anybody else have any other thoughts? I would give it a two. We've had this discussion before. It is not in the best of shape and could collapse. If I I, I'd give it a two way. just because it is a it's a, it's an eyesore. <laughs> That bridge itself, not thinking, not thinking about specifically, yes, I know we need to replace it because it is the, the st highway department has recommended that it be replaced without too much further delay. But from the definitions that I see, I, I give it there a you two. Go. Yes. Okay. It's also a safety thing, I think, the visual thing, efficiency. So it, it two? a couple of things. Perfect. True. Two. Does everybody agree I've with two? I've learned a new word, recommend hat, this bridge. Got to have some humor. Oh, God, we're looking at all this stuff. Look at the replacement of the 20 foot bridge and then go down under, recommend hat this bridge. <laughs> Come on, let's laugh some laughter. Yeah, it wasn't built. Oh, we, oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> built in well, I think it was, uh, wasn't built in 1060 either. <laughs> it's done pretty well. It was. Maybe That's 19. Why they call it the Celtic. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they call it the Celtic. Bridge. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. There's some laughing. All right. Okay. So what do y'all think on that one? I two? Gave, I still? Gave it, I gave it a three, but that's okay. Two for everyone? Two. That's good. Paint striper for public works, 2117. That was my first four. <laughs> for community character. Absolutely. Keeping all Michael says a four. It's essential to achieving those results. All our streets striped and... 
I gave it a three simply because the fact that we could also hire outside help if we if we needed to. Yeah, it could be contracted. I know, and then there's two That's on your program attributes. Anybody. Yeah. So does the paint striper achieve, if you want to give it a four, does it achieve every definition on here? No. No. Probably not. I'm just trying to help you all think about how, um, yeah, so it provides for efficient and effective traffic flow. It makes it easier to travel. You could probably argue that one, too. Um, so what do you all think? What, what number? I give it a two. I'm a two. Paint striper, a two, a two. Michael says four. We have I'm a couple of two. Three now. Three. <laughs> <laughs> well, I missed a couple here. It may rank well. Okay. My, my only other thought on that was, yeah, the paint striper will be great to help with certain roads, but quite frankly, we don't use paint striping in our neighborhood on our neighborhood roads, mm -hmm. no. so it, that impact would be neg negated there. So. And it could be done by uh, someone third party that would contract to do it. Public-private so. partnership. Right. Absolutely. Could be more cost effective than purchasing whatever. Great thinking. Woo. Thank you. Okay, so what do we think? Yeah. Two or three? Two. 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 Yeah, thank you. <laughs> the next one is plotter upgrade for Public Works 2118. How does that meet community character? How does it achieve the the definitions behind the community character? What would you say? You say that you it achieves all of these um, results behind this goal. Yeah, it's clutter and planning. And does it sustain and invest in a community of cohesive, diverse, attractive, and safe neighborhoods? Yes. How so? Uh, with their planning and, and flood control and planning in those areas. Uh, the plotter upgrade helps for flood control. Flood control, especially uh, the fire hydrant locations, the power pole locations. Okay. There have been a lot of different, it, that, that thing's a critical piece of gear. So, do you think it achieves all of these definitions on the community character? So, even if we think that it's very um, a crucial piece, it's very important, that may be everybody's. Um, decision but we just want to make sure that we're sticking to how does it achieve this one result because at the end it'll all come together to combine for a quartile so you're sticking with a four I can go to a three. that's up to you it's up to you two, i was at a two on this one and that's totally up to you i was at a two or a three on this one and and it was because i don't think it hits, hits all those areas but i do think it hits some of them uh, inadvertently, it hits a lot of them. Uh, okay. But I, I mean, it does improve wayfinding. Okay. Uh, it does help with our traffic flow because that's how we map things. Uh, it does help to free up traffic congestion because we are we we use it to plan our roadways and to also it even helps us to uh, plan the. Uh, repaving of our roadways so we can keep track of it. So I was good with a two or a three on Okay. It. I think it, I'm a two because I think like on land use, it's probably going to be a four and on um, infrastructure, environment, I think it's going to score higher. Right. It's, I'm not saying it's not an important piece of right. equipment that's not well used, but in this particular role yes. that we're looking at, I think it's on the lower end. It's going to okay. be much higher in a couple of the others, and it's probably going to be zero in a couple of other ones okay. as well. So. so we have a two. Two. We just a quick. Everybody comment. agree with a two. Um, Jerry, how about you? Hey. Okay with a two or? Hang on, the mayor has a comment. Yes, sir. In the future, we also have strong need for, from a safety standpoint, which will, that's another area I realize, but for streetlights and for safe communities and the plotting and the planning out would be a part of that process. And that will be another result. It'll probably go higher, that, that result. 
Okay, um, so we've got a two on 2118, Melissa. 2119, um, the radar trailer for Public Works. How does that achieve your community character? The trailer is used for traffic studies, including vehicle speed and vehicle counts. Give it a one. One? One. Everybody agree with that? Okay, one. How about the Public Works zero turn mower, 2120? I, I think this goes back to what Stan was talking about earlier on the community character. Uh, all of a sudden, mowers become important because mm -hmm. it's the, yeah. um, the visual yes. um, aesthetics of um, I get a little I get a little biased with these things, and I don't mean to. I will leave the scoring up to you all honestly, but I would note that the reason that I do is because we do get complimented all the time on how well we maintain our uh, our grass, so to speak. And not only do we maintain our own, but we also maintain the Department of uh, Transportations down here because they only mow twice a year. So we take it far more seriously. We think it's important to our guests and as well as our residents. So, and without mowers, we just can't do it. So what are your thoughts? What, uh, I'll go a three on that. Myself. Three? I would three. I'll I'll go three. Go three. I had three. a four, but it doesn't hit them all, so I'm going to change it. Sam, what are your thoughts? Three. three. Everybody's a three. OK, let's move on. Twenty-one, twenty-one. the replacement of the bucket truck. I feel Sam make to this, but I kind of feel like it accomplishes a lot of the same yes. things that the mowers do. It's yeah. what people see. We're able to maintain the lighting and all the things. Especially with, with our traffic lights and traffic yes. repair, traffic signal repair. Okay. So I gave it a three. Three? I, I, I think it's a three as well. Does everybody agree with a three on that? Okay. Um, 2122, uh, replacement vehicle, Ford Explorer. Community character. What are we using it for? Yeah. Um, this will consist of replacing the street department's Ford Explorer. It was scheduled for replacement. Um, what are they doing? Does it really say, what do y'all use that for? It's for our garage. It's our parts chasing truck, basically. It, it, it goes and so gets uh, parts. To me, in this, uh, for that, uh, this would be a zero to me. Zero, yeah. yeah. Okay. Everybody agree with that? It'll be important. Somewhere else, yeah. but for this, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think it adds to community okay. character. Um, the next one is the Chevy Trailblazer Public Works. Um, community character. This one replaces the um, stormwater, um, MS4 stormwater vehicle. What do y'all think? How does it achieve community character results? Zero. 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 Everybody agree with a zero? Okay. Um, the next one is a Public Works uh, Ford Escape. It's a pool vehicle for Public Works. How does that achieve community character? Zero. Zero? Uh, zero. Yeah. Everybody agree? Okay. How about the Transportation Master Plan, 2125? I think that's important. That's I a get four. a three or four on that. That's yeah. a four. A four. We've got several fours. Um, does it meet all the definitions required? It's Actually, intent. It's if it does, uh, four. Okay. Yeah. I, I does think everybody it, agree with a four? Yes. I think it does. Or okay. It, does. it goes a long way to achieve the community character for our city. Okay. Four it is. <laughs> um, the brush chipper. Public works. Brush chipper. Um, let's see. Model wood chipper to provide better capabilities and safer equipment for employees. Um, let's see. It's a rescheduled. Let's see. Uh, what do y'all use that for? Just brush, trim trees, brush. Trimming. Okay. Especially when we have storms. Okay. Yeah. Especially when we have storms. Yes. How does that achieve community character? I, I think it does a little bit, but I think it's low. Yeah, I was a one, I was a one or a two just because it does clean up debris. Okay. Two. Two. Yeah, two? I, I'd two go with the two. most. But Everybody agree with a two? Sure. It's important when we need it. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Okay. Did y'all hear her? So it goes back to aesthetics and being um, 
reducing visual clutter and enhancing attractive distinguished landscape character I, with the I, and I, I apologize I kind of already knew that so I that's why I gave it a two because okay. instead of a one right do we agree a two two, two. okay um, the next one is the Ford F-350 pickup with plow it's a replacement and how does that go to achieve the community character results I give it a two I give it a two uh, yeah two, two. Everybody else agree? Is it too fine or it achieves the results a little bit, but not critical? I don't think it's critical to it, okay. but it does enhance. Okay. So we set a two. Does everybody agree? Okay. Next one is the fire station and police headquarters design and construction uh, program number 2128, community character. How does that achieve community character? The results. Well, I'm just going to say I think it's part of the community character, the facilities themselves. Uh, I'm not going to give them my score because I don't want to influence their decision. Well, it sustains and invests in the community um, for diverse, attractive, and safe neighborhoods. That would it would achieve that result. Um, so, what do y'all think on those results? Two for me. I two. Give it two. Yeah, okay. and I think you know identifying elements that project community values, leaving a lasting impression on visitor. I mean, safety yeah. is, okay. you know, that's, that's going to kind of be two. that symbol there, I think. For so us. what are your thoughts? I think two is a two? pretty good. So I'd we have a couple a, of twos? I'd give it a three for the same reason. I, I think that safety is one of the things that our community is all about, and, and both your police and fire and the, the facilities and how they look are going to be critical to us. Okay. A three? So we have a couple twos and a three. I was in Bob's camp with a three, three. since we've scored okay. and, and simply because I believe that our buildings very much are the foundation of our community and they do reflect exactly our culture and, and what we, when you look at one of them, you should feel stability and that they are being well maintained and cleanliness and built properly. So that's where I was. So who all thinks it should be a two? I'll, I'll, I'll re-up and do a three. about a three? Everybody else, three is it? Three. Okay, um, Highway 76, segment one and two design. Community character, how, do that, how does that program achieve those results? Three. three. Yeah, that's been the focus. Of okay, We've been just three. three. Everybody three. agrees with the three on that. Um, Highway 76, utility undergrounding. How about community character? How does that achieve those results? I'd do it concurrent three with the previous yeah. everybody agree with that yeah. okay um, how about rebuild Compton Drive pumps 2131 program zero how does that achieve community character I have a zero everybody agree with that okay oops sorry about Bear that up. Um, 2132 lift station 46 how does that achieve community character results Zero. Zero. Okay. Everybody agree with the zero on that? Okay. How about 2133, lift station number four, gravity sewer? Zero. zero. Okay. How about um, 2134, lift station 21? Zero. zero. Pump rebuild? Mm -hmm. Zero. Everybody agree? Mm -hmm. How about 2136, replace um, unit 179, it's a Ford F2 F250 pickup. It's for the utilities department. It's a vehicle replacement for utilities. How does that achieve community character results? Zero. Zero, yeah. Okay. Does everybody agree with the zero on that? Okay. Hey, okay. Jamie. Uh -huh. I think we missed one about that scheduled lift station pump rebuild replacement. We had two that were numbered 2134. Okay, that's correct. Yes, thank you, Melissa. Um, that's another lift station rebuild. I missed it on the top. Zero. 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 Okay, uh, both of them are zero. And then the replacement vehicle for utilities for community character. Any thoughts on that one? How does the replacement of that vehicle achieve the community zero. character results? Other zero. Zero, okay. How about Spring Creek Water Mains 2137? Zero. Zero. 
Does everybody agree with that? Okay, how about the replacement of unit 328, a UTV for utilities? How does that achieve community character results? Probably zero. Zero. Okay, how about sewer collection rehabilitation? How does that achieve community character um, results? I, I will only say that while I would agree with the zero, the community character is going to change if their flush will not work. <laughs> Give it a one. <laughs> oh my. Well, but it, but it, how does it, does it achieve the results? How does it achieve the results? Zero. Okay. Heard from the stream. <laughs> but I agree with Stan. But it's still zero. Okay. Yes. I'm not um, sure that I agree. I, I'm not sure that I wouldn't put a one on that. And the reason is it really looks bad when you're sitting in a hard rain and you look out front in the street and you've got, uh, you have water shooting up out of the, the sewer manhole covers, mm -hmm. uh, uh, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. And then you've got one that's all broken Seen off it. when you drive over it. Uh, Seen I, it. I think those repairs are pretty important to the, to the looks, to the okay. aesthetics. So. A one? I give it a one. Okay. Uh, who thinks zero? I can live with a one. How about one? I'll live one. with a one. All in favor. One. <laughs> um, re rebuild of the Compton Aerators 2140 program. How does that achieve community character results? Zero. Okay. Does everybody agree with the zero? Any more thoughts on that? Okay. How about, here's another, um, rebuild uh, Compton Drive waste sludge pumps, 2141. Does this have anything to do with uh, helping to alleviate any smell? It talks about aerator. No, uh, Mike said no. Okay. Because that can sure affect the community character mm -hmm. pretty quick. Okay. <laughs> How about it? What do y'all think? Zero. Zero. Okay. Everybody agree with that? Okay. How about 2142, Compton Drive Sludge Basin? Does that? I did the, the same smell? thing. Zero. This one does. will uh, reduce smell. Well, that's pretty important. It, yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> pretty important. I'd say a two then. A two? Does it achieve the community character results, especially if it reduces the smell? What do y'all think? I could go one or two. One or two? Yeah. Jerry? Mm -hmm. Two? Anybody else? I can live with a one. We have ones and we have twos. We who all thinks ones. it should be a one? Um, one, everybody, um, who all thinks it should be a two? We have three twos, the rest are ones, so one will have it, okay. Um, the next one is a utility replacement vehicle for a Freightliner dump truck. How does that achieve community character results? Is it just a standard daily dump truck, Mike, to, when we have water breaks and stuff? I'm sorry, what do you say? Biosolids, it's a wastewater treatment <laughs> vehicle. If you want to worry about odors, go down there. <laughs> It has 34,000 miles on it currently. What do y'all think? How does it achieve community character results? I would say it would be very low. <clears throat> very low? Unless it dumped. I give one. One? I, ha I see a one. Anybody else have any other uh, ideas? I give it a one. <laughs> unless it breaks. Yeah, unless it dumps um, <laughs> yeah. before it's supposed to, yeah. Everybody agree with a one or do we have any other thoughts? A one? Okay. About the 2144 water system GPS unit. This is a um, GPS unit to capture point locations of new and existing assets. I would say this one would be very low as well for this particular. Yeah, I think it's a zero for what zero. we're talking okay. about. Zero. Community character. Okay. Um, how about the next one? 2145 three quarter ton utility truck. How does that achieve community character results? 
Zero. Zero? Is this? Well, go ahead, is this, a, is, is this I, a mandate? Is this three quarter ton utility truck mandated? Well, that's what I was looking oh. at. It says due to the new regulatory requirements of right. Water Safety and Security right. Act. Huh. That would require that would be uh, requiring uh, maintenance of the fire hydrant and valves. That would be the main the mandate would be the fire right. hydrant and the valve maintenance. I would say our fire hydrants are pretty important um, to community character. They're everywhere. They're visual to our citizens and to our our tourists. This alike. is the truck. Okay. I think the safety this, thing. Yeah, I think it fits the safety part of this. Yeah. I mean, it's no, it's not a three or anything like that, but I definitely think it can be a one. Okay. A one. Does everybody agree. agree with a one? Well, my question goes back to how is it being done now? An old pickup truck, probably. <laughs> how is it's it being done now? This is just a three-quarter ton, right? It's a new regulation right now. We just use our crews and what we have, and we don't currently meet regulations for the new regulation. Yeah. So this would be something new to meet the new regulation. Have a deflector on it with the pumps, with the, the metering uh, to confirm the actual water flow. Right. Yeah, I, I, I still, I'm, I'm, at a, I'm at a one on that. A one? Does everybody agree? We've been at this for a little bit. Does anybody need a break? Let's finish this. We're almost done, okay. if I recall correctly. All right. For this. 2146. This is due to new regulatory requirements of Water Safety and Security Act. Um, this looks... This is the actual equipment that the truck will right. pull. Okay. So, what do y'all think? So, is it... The same thing as the truck? I think it's a one. Okay. In this area. What do y'all think? Is it a one mandate? It is. Uh, well, it's, it, it is to help the mandate. It is to help us keep up with the mandate of the water, of the fire hydrants. They're, they're required to test mm -hmm. the hydrants but for it's a new water flow. mandate to, put into place. So, we have to have this valve exerciser, correct? Because of the mandate. So we, we have to have this, it. We don't really... It will assist with it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just trying to decide if if it's a mandate, then we don't even have an option. The the maintenance of the fire hydrants and the valves is what man is what's mandated. Right. But we have to have the equipment to do it with. The he, he just said that the equipment is more of a best practice. Okay. He he could they could do it manually, yes. but it quite frankly is it's them. a job because I had to, in my previous life, had to do it manually, the same way with what we're talking about with testing every single hydrant. You have to put a valve on it to make sure it's flowing properly. It is possible, but this would assist them in getting it yeah. done in a more efficient fashion. It's not part of the mandate, but it will help them. Okay. I would what do y'all think? A one. a one? Everybody think that? Okay. That's good. Next one is the Pacific Tr Street Tower uh, air conditioning deck replacement. How does that meet community character results? Doesn't. It doesn't. Zero. It has zero. I've heard zero. Everybody else agree? Has anybody seen that? It's, it's all rusted out, isn't it, Mike? Or when you pull in that parking lot? Will it fall more into another area? But how does it achieve the community character results? Yeah, I was just thinking about the visual aspect mm -hmm. of it. That's all. When that's where people have to go for, to meet with folks, and I've noticed it, but I wouldn't give it much. I just how about this, it? What do you think? Category, I would, okay. I would probably do a one. A one. Others may think it's a zero. So. What do the rest of y'all think? One. I live with, live one. with one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, next one is um, program number 2148, the Repair Meadows Filter Rehab Walls. <clears throat> I'd give it a zero. 
For community character, how does that achieve community character? Nobody's result? going to see this, are I've they? Heard zero. Anybody else have any other ideas? I, I that I looked at a zero there for that one. Zero. zero. Okay. Um, how about the next one? Um, the replaced unit 297. It's a 2012 Dodge Ram. It's utilities. It's a utility um, replacement vehicle. Zero. Zero. How does it achieve community character? And y'all think it doesn't? Okay. Zero. How about the next one, which is the Recplex water tower renovation? Um, program number 2150. How does that achieve community character? It's the painting and the repair of the water tower at the city Recplex. I think it's important. I think it falls into community character. Okay. How important? I'd give it a three. Yeah. I would, three. I would say three. 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 Okay. Does everybody agree with the three? Yes. All right. Okay. The next one is the Compton Drive flood protection. What do y'all think about community character on this one? There'd be a lot of character loss if you don't have it. <laughs> We've talked about this a lot in the past. and comes um, in infrastructure, doesn't it? Yeah, it'll, it'll probably score real high for infrastructure, too. How does it achieve a community character? Does it sustain and invest in a community of cohesive, diverse, attractive, and safe neighborhoods? It is the I would base, say yes. It is the base yeah. of safe neighborhoods, that. for sure. What else? Any thoughts on that one? Good a one. Yeah. A one for community character. Does everybody agree? Yes. Okay. Um, Iserman Park, walking path, Parks and Rec, 2152 program number. How does that achieve community character? I gave that a three. I thought it meant I would say a three. A three? Mm -hmm. Does everybody agree on that? It's, a, it's the walking path? Okay. All right. Three, seven. The next one is the Cantwell Park Rehabilitation, Rehabilitation Project. 2153, program number for Parks and Rec. How does that achieve community character results? I gave that a three also. A three as well. A three? It is a pitiful shape. Does everybody agree that a three, it would have... I think it's, I, it hits multiple okay. places. All right. Okay, how about the next one, 2154, replacement of a mower for the Parks and Rec department? So that's at least a three. That's a lot of hours on that. Three? Yeah. Does everybody agree with that, a three for the mower? Okay. How about the replacement of vehicle for the Parks and Rec Department? It's utilized as the restroom route vehicle traveling to each public and park restroom twice a day for cleaning. How does that, that achieve community I would say character? That one's pretty important as well. <laughs> it's, it's a lot community more character. That. What do you think? The restroom's clean. I mean, it does. Yeah, that's just one of them. What What score would you give? <laughs> At least a two or a three. Yeah, okay. I'd give it a two. Two? Everybody agree with that? Okay. Two it is. Okay. Huh. I'll skip one. How about um, community center access road for the parks and rec? Program number 2156. Okay, it says um, this project would construct an asphalt access road around the back of the community center. Currently, the access behind that, the building dead ends and it forces users to have to back up. Um, so what do you think about the community center access road for the Parks and Rec? How does that go to achieve the community character results? I was torn on this one because... Two and a three. Well, as far as the road itself, it, it doesn't do much. But when you look at what the reason behind what the road is for, those meals greatly impact our community, especially our seniors that are, are shut in and can't get food. So okay. uh, to me, that, that did cause it to go higher. What would you score it? Oh, I saw the safe neighborhood. That, to me resonated with a safe neighborhood, the, the feeding the seniors. Okay. I think in this particular one, I think it's a lower one. I think it can be higher in something else. But okay. What score would you give it? 
Oh, we'd probably give it a one or a two. One. Stand. I gave it a two. A two? I gave two? It a two. Everybody agrees two. with a two? two. Okay. Two two. How about the um, replacement of the UTV for Parks and Rec? I, I didn't see much there as far as this part goes. It, it assists the maintenance of the baseball and soccer fields. So I think that's pretty mm -hmm. important to our community character and since we're that, 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 that part's true. a sports destination. So, I just... Um, I, I appreciate the vehicle and the help, but I always look at the bottom line of it, the job could be done without it. But I, I could give it a one or a two. What are y'all's thoughts? What are the rest of your thoughts? Two, Jerry says two. I'm just trying to figure out what they're talking about. Michael says two. I, I'm good with a two. I'll go two. Two, most, most everyone says two. Does everybody agree with a two? Okay. Uh, the next one is the program number 2158, the hydraulic dump trailer. It, it hauls large amounts of brush it's kind and of like down trees. Mm -hmm. you know, Didn't we give it a two? We gave it a two, I think. So a two? That's where I was on this one, too. Okay. Does everybody agree with a two on that? Two. Okay. Um, how about 2159 campground site improvements for community character? How does that go to achieve those results? Three. Three? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this one's pretty Whether important. you're staying there or not, you see it. Right. Yes. Looks pretty good down there. It mm -hmm. does look great. Three. Three? Okay. Does everybody agree with the three on the campground site improvements to yes. achieve community character results? Okay. Three. Um, the next one is the Recplex exterior building painting. It's needed to maintain the appearance of the building as it's 16 years old. This one's at least old. a two or a three but because okay. of the, the notable um, pronounced gateways. I think it's people identify with okay. the Recplex. It draws its own tourist space yeah. here for a lot of people see that rec plex mm -hmm. that yeah. play in tournaments. Right. What would what score would y'all give it? Three for me. Three. 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 Okay, everybody agrees with three. Um, the next one is um, program number twenty one sixty one, the replacement vehicle. It's a trash truck. It's utilized by the uh, maintenance staff to pick up the trash in all the parks, the downtown, and the campground. I, I so, think that's critical. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not saying a four, but a three. Three. Does everyone agree with a three? Or? We're gonna have our, okay. our campgrounds clean. Three it is on that one. Um, the next one is the Parnell Park Improvements. Um, the severely deteriorated tennis courts will receive a two inch asphalt overlay. Um, this the courts will then be painted and striped by the park staff and pickleball courts. This was so. important again, especially with the pickleball courts and the, the, the group, the crowd that it draws. So. Okay. I think it's probably at least a three. A three? Higher, I don't know, but. I'd agree with the three. Uh, does everyone agree with the three to achieve community character results? Okay. Any more comments on that? All right, three it is. Um, the next one is a fire command staff re uh, vehicle replacement. How does that achieve community character results? I gave a zero. Zero? Okay. Does everybody agree with a zero on that? Okay, zero. Um, the next one is a fire engine replacement, 2164. How does that achieve community character results? Well, I think the safe neighborhoods um, falls into to, to that, if that's, you know, keeping our neighborhoods safe, but I think it's not sure. I gave it a one or a, I, I was torn between a one and a two. Um, it falls in some other areas heavier. It does. Yeah. It'll be high other places. I gave it a two. Two? What do y'all think? I give it a two. Two? I'm good so it's commitment two. to safety. Okay. Two. Does everybody agree? Two it is then. Um, how about the next one, 2165 fire marshal vehicle replacement. How does that achieve community character results? Well, it's pretty visible and prominent and well-known vehicle when it goes through town. So um, I think probably the um, 
perception of safety and, and different things would fall under that, but for the rest of it, I'm not sure just this vehicle being replaced would be real high, but it definitely, in my opinion, merits. Would this be a lease vehicle then? If we it, yes, sir. Yeah. Anything with okay. a title, we can put through the lease program, if that's right. helpful. So it'll be a newer vehicle, but two. better, this more attractive. Yeah. Purchase mm -hmm. of a pickup truck, right? Yeah, two. Yes, it's a fire, um, a vehicle replacement. Mm -hmm. A two, I, I see two. Does anybody else think it's higher than that or lower, two? Is everybody okay with a two? Yeah. Okay, we'll move on. Outdoor warning siren replacement. I gave that a three. Okay. I mean, I was a three on that one also. Community yeah, character, three. three. Okay, three it is. Um, the SCBA compressor and cascade system. This is, uh, it's replacing of older equipment for the fire department. How does that achieve community character? Actual community character, I don't think it really does. I think okay. it's critical, but I think we'll score it higher other places. Yeah, yeah go higher back in the yes. back. Okay. So what do y'all think? What's the score? Zero, for zero. 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 Everybody agrees with that. Zero. Um, the next one's 2169 Spring Creek Water Main Construction. How does that achieve community character? Zero. 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 Everybody agree with that? Okay. The next one is the Cooper Creek um, upgrades. How does that achieve community character? It's equipment upgrades for Cooper Creek. I don't see it. I think it's a zero. Zero? I don't see any. Okay. Everybody agree with that? Okay. Next one is the analytic software for the police department. How does it achieve community character? I, I gave this a one. Okay. And it, because I... No, it's not absolutely critical, but it does help as far as the character of our community by assisting the police department in doing their job through uh, technology, and it makes them more efficient in their operations. I okay. think it would also allow us to inform the public in a better manner also. Okay. So why do you put a one? So a one. Stand one. Mm -hmm. Everybody else one. Okay. Um, the next one is the less lethal launcher. Program 2176. Depends on what character you're trying to impress. Community <laughs> character. <laughs> How does that achieve those results? It does not. Okay. No, it Zero. Zero. Okay. The next one is the Motorola Cody Systems interface. How does that achieve community character results? It does help as far as uh, aiding in crime reduction and reporting system, but as far as actually, if, I don't, I mean, it, this is one that if we had a half point, I would have given it a, a point 0.5. Okay. Anybody else? You want to round up? <laughs> In Anybody? lieu of that, I'd give it a zero. A <laughs> zero? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Everybody agree with a zero on this one? Okay. The next one is the uh, patrol replacement vehicles for the police department. How does that achieve community character results? I gave it a one because they are visible. It, it does reflect upon our community when they when people see them. Okay. Um, I'd give it a two for the same reason. Two, one, two. Bob's Sufficiently, just a nicer guy than I am. Sufficiently <laughs> regulated community appearance, I think, would be. So I'd be a two or two. Either one or two. I'm good. I'll go. Okay. Yeah. Who says two? I'm flexible with the two. One, two, three, four. Everybody agree with the two? Okay. Um, the next one is the citywide unmanned aerial vehicle drone. 2179. Program. This is going to score higher later. Uh, just so you all know, when you see this, you probably think fire department, police department. What we are trying to put together is actually a drone package that will enable GIS, streets, water, everybody to have a, a device 
that we can utilize to enhance our, our city. But uh, so it, it is more than just police and fire. And, and so I looked at that as a, a one in this category because it's going to be utilized to upgrade our roads and everything else. It, okay. So what do y'all think? A one? One. One? Okay. One. Um, the next one is the watch guard integration. It's a camera for the police department, 2180. What do y'all think? How does that achieve community character results? Well, it ties back to safe neighborhoods, I think. Um, okay. Maybe a one. Okay. A one? One? Does everybody agree with the one? One. Okay. The next one is the interview room equipment for the police department. It's an update on the equipment in the current um, interview room. I think for this one it's a zero. Zero. That's me. For community character, it's a zero. Does everybody agree with that? Okay. How about the Housing Authority uh, parking lot project? Program 2182, how does that achieve community character results? I will just say off the top that it helps us get rid of two really old dilapidated houses that are eyesores. That's true. I will also say that it helps with traffic because it then removes cars that we have parked on our streets and uh, we've made sure to develop the contract so our library, can our library can utilize the parking as well, which will enhance their operations also. So I looked at this as a two. You know, to okay. revitalize this historic character of downtown, provides for efficient and effective traffic flow, enhances major corridors within the city. Okay. I mean, I think it hits several things on that. So what score would you give it? I would give it a three. Three? Yeah. Jerry's three, Stan's three. Anybody else have any other thoughts? Michael says two. You have to go to auctioneer school. <laughs> give me one. Give me a <laughs> that would be fun. I think okay. be, we need Billy Long down here. To <laughs> <one of> these. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a three because it also shows our support to our housing authority. Yes. A three? Does everybody agree with a three? That's good. Three, okay. How about the fire and police building design? How does that achieve community character results? There's no description, but I think the program number speaks for itself here. I, I, again, I try not to get in the middle of this, but like I said earlier, I think these buildings do develop, do lead to the character of our community. Okay. And so we want to build them right. That's why, to me, it's been so critical when we actually get to the design phase to get the community involved in the actual design. So they're, they're part of it. Okay. What score would you give it? I'd give it a three. Three, yeah. everyone? That's pretty important. For community character, three. three. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, I think that's a well, me too, but I wasn't sure. Yeah. Well, okay. You just scored it again. <laughs> if it is, I'm sorry. Where at? What program number? Up above. We did it somewhere. I don't know how far you'd have to go, but. Are you sure it wasn't on the last result? Yeah, it might have been a different tab. Huh? Excuse me. Right there. there. Yeah. Well, at least we scored it the same. Well, this one is we design. Did. That okay. one is construction, too. So this yeah. one says fire design and construction. I think um, they just, And then this one says just design. I think they combine them. Okay. It, I, well, I do. I, I think it's a duplication. Yeah. Okay. Make so just so y'all know, we don't, I mean, this is per department. So, okay. You want to take that one out then? Well, I would take the bottom one out. I wouldn't take that one out. Okay. So the well, good news is we gave both of them a three. Well, so yeah. We I mean, that's way. fine. Yes. We were so we're going to yes. remove 2183. We'll do that later. Okay. Um, wastewater conveyance study for utilities. Program number 2200. How does that go to achieve community character results? Hey, Jamie, that ends fiscal year 21. Okay. Okay, so 2183 ends... 2121. Right. That's... 21. Ends 2021. Okay. Now we should take a break for a bit. Yes, I agree. I have to put my shoes back on. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, I need to remember, 2183 cuts us off. Okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. And which one will be Those the are next We had a lot of requests, didn't we? We'll, we'll do infrastructure and oh, economic development. Yes. I'll, I'll try to move quicker. But um, I just, we just had a lot of requests this year. And the reason why is because COVID, we canceled so much capital that what we did was we asked the department heads if they needed it, again, just to re-request it. it. So. I think it's where my All I can say is great minds think alike, right? Yeah. Oh, I feel like yes. I'm taking your spot up here. Don't you usually sit up here on this side? <laughs> I'm talking way too much, I know that. <laughs>
Is this what you're seeing? Yeah. Testing one, two, three. Is everyone back from break? Um, Most everybody. What's the next category, Jamie? Um, we're uh, economic development, I believe. Okay. Are we community needs yeah. next, or? Um, the next one I've got is economic development. Okay. All right. Everybody's missing, let me know, will you? Okay, Jerry's <laughs> missing, Michael Pinkley's missing. There's Jerry. You say economic development? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for getting these. Yeah. You're welcome. It sure makes a lot of difference. So we're gonna go down through all the capital requests. As I was saying to some, when we um, split for the break, I know it seems like a lot, but one thing I wanted you to understand as a result of COVID, we had to cut a lot of the capital. So what we asked the department heads to do is if you still needed that, re-request it for next year. So there's a lot of requests that we're having to go through, but it is because of everything that we're going through this year. So certainly. So, I mean, we'll try to speed it up and make it a little bit more interesting. <laughs> okay, is everybody ready for economic development? Um, I will not take the time to read, since y'all have your results maps, I won't take the time to read the definitions unless y'all want me to. Um, okay, economic development. Um, the first one is the new vehicle replacement for planning. Um, program number 2100, how does that achieve economic development results? Well, since it's for the building division, it kind of goes along with the economic development piece of it. It might be a small, might be small on the low end. Yeah, I got it down. Well, one, a one, maybe, yeah. would one? do it, but not any higher, I don't think. Okay, a one? Okay, next one is the second um, vehicle replacement for planning. Same? Probably a one. Same. Economic development, a one. Please. The next one is the additional sewer camera equipment and trailer for utilities. How does that achieve economic development results? I could pull that as a one as well. Yeah. A one? Okay. Um, the next one is 2103, Utilities Advanced Metering Infrastructure. How does that achieve economic development results? I got it as a one. A one? Okay. How about the demo of the concrete tanks for the lift stations? How does that achieve economic development results? Zero. 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 All right. How about the Dewey Bald Water Tower? How does that achieve economic development results? Providing water out there. That, that does. Yeah. Okay. To what a level? Three. I gave a three. A, I gave it a three. Everybody agree on a three? Okay. How about the 2106 groundwater well service? How does that achieve economic development results? Rebuild or replacement of groundwater well equipment? I'm going to go off the rails here on them for a minute and think differently than probably some of them are. But to me, once again, that's an infrastructure item. And without infrastructure, you're not going to have economic development. Well, I think on this drives to balance the desired service levels, because this is a service, right? Yes. With changing costs, which we all know how expensive it is. Yes. And then looking at revenues that can be produced from that. So I think it does fit in that particular bucket there. Okay. To what level, you think? Does it meet all of the results, or does it just meet a few? A few. A okay. few. Let me ask something to Mike on this because I know we Certainly. redid our our uh, water uh, agreement on Lake Caney Cumma, which should give us an adequate amount of water. Is this just for emergency backup only because there's more than enough water out there to serve Branson's needs? Unless those pumps die, then you have to. Yep. Have we ever had to do that before, guys? Okay, I understand. Make it two? Two. Yes, two. Two? Everybody agree? Yep. 
Okay, how about 2107, the Compton effluent pumps? How does that achieve economic development? I do a three, if that thing breaks down, you got problems. How does it achieve the results for economic development? You don't, you cannot stimulate economic growth. You will not be able to offer okay. safe, welcoming environment if that thing goes down. Any more thoughts? Jerry says three. I think again the service levels. So mm -hmm. know, that's talking about the cost. So a three. three. Everybody important. agrees with the three. Okay. Well, this question goes back to this: the Compton affluent pumps. Does that have anything to do with the grant that we've applied for, or is this exclusive of that? Is this, it doesn't have no, anything to do with the no, Compton no okay. grants. Never mind. Nothing to do with money. Um, the next one's 2109, the maintenance facility for the utilities. How does that achieve uh, economic development? How about the results? I don't think it does, personally. I don't okay, a zero? zero. Okay. Everybody agree? How about the chlorine leak scrubber for the utilities? I like saying that. I don't know. <laughs> For the Meadows Water Treatment Plant, how does that achieve economic development? Well, it would keep us from killing people if we had a leak. That's pretty important. <laughs> so does it strive to balance the desired service levels? Yes. I okay. So. Offers a safe, welcoming environment. Chlorine Stimulates the, economic growth. The release of chlorine into the environment is not good. Okay. I, I, give, I give it a one. A one? Anybody else? Sounds good. One. Okay. One How about the stairway, stairway repair for utilities? Zero. Zero. Everybody agree? Yeah. Okay. Painting Branson Landing Boulevard and the bridge railing. Got to do the boiler, right? Economic development. How does that? Got to do the boiler Three first. Yeah, I, I mean. City Hall boiler. What would right. you say? I'm sorry, Pam, I didn't hear what you said. Stairway, we turned that one. Then the next one is City Hall Boiler Unit. Oh, 2112 is missing 2112. off her. 2112, 2112, it is missing off mine. OK. Did we not score that on the other? No. I don't remember it. That's the boiler, right? Mm-hmm. No, we haven't scored it. Mm-mm. So I tell you what, we will uh, go back and score that one all together since it's not on this one uh, when we're done with community character. I think this does add to uh, it. this, uh, not a huge number, but I think that the bridge is a part of economic development you, okay. because of the, uh, the issue of it, it, it helps to highlight for future business that we're maintaining our structures, that they have a nice entrance into the landing or wherever when you cross that uh, highway, as well as the hospital itself. Okay. What, what score would you give it oh, based on the results? Probably a two. Two? What, what, what about y'all? Any other thoughts? Two okay. sounds good. Two? two? All right. Two, Cottle Way Low Water Crossing. How about that one for economic development? How does that go to achieve our results? I don't see anything myself. That's a zero. Zero. Everybody agree? Okay. How about the Highway 165 and 76 intersection improvements? I do see this doing something. How does that achieve it, the economic development? Two. I had a two on that. Two? two. Any more thoughts? Okay. How about the Celtic Bridge replacement? I don't see anything there. I don't either. Nothing for economic development? Zero? Okay. How about the paint strapper? I economic development? No. no. Okay. How about the plotter upgrade? That's a, I think that I does. I think that one would okay. fall into. Um, to what level? The, the well, the the well-planned, sustainable development, redevelopment. Yeah. Um, and it, it, 
it really does help with our local businesses that come to us for the maps to help plan out their yeah. their business and their growth. So I, I personally think that one's up there to a th in a th the level of three, th three to me. But. Does everybody agree, agree on that? I'm, I'm good okay. with that. How about the radar trailer for the Public Works? Zero. Zero? For economic development? Economic development, yeah. Okay. Everybody agree? I gave it a one just because of the traffic count ability. So when businesses come to us, they can make sure that they can locate their business where they are getting in the traffic flow that they needed. But that's just, just me. I'm not trying okay. to influence you all. <laughs> so does it stimulate economic growth? Okay, so we have some ones and some zeros. Who thinks one? Okay, ones have it. Um, Zero turn mower for public works, for economic development. How does that work? Probably, How does it achieve? probably not. Zero? Zero. Any more thoughts on that? Zero? Okay. How about the replacement of the bucket truck for public works? How does that achieve economic development results? I really strive to, I'm struggling to even give that a one. Okay. Does it achieve it at all? I think it's a zero. Okay. I think it's a zero also. Zero? Yeah. Okay. Does everybody agree on that one? Any more yeah. thoughts? Okay. How about the replacement of the Chevy Trailblazer for public zero. works? Zero. What, did, what about the 2001 Ford Explorer, the 20? I'm sorry, yes, that's, you that's, are. Yeah, that's, I'm sorry, that's what I was I talking about. I missed that one, I'm sorry. Yes, the 2001 uh, Ford Explorer, program 21-22. Um, Zero. 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 Um, is same for the next one, the Trailblazer? Zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. 24. How about the 21-24? Zero. 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 Okay, how about the Transportation Master Plan? How does three. that achieve? I think that's zero. critical. I, I do. Okay, I'd give does it everybody three. agree with that? Three? Okay. How about the um, brush chipper for public works? How, about, how does that achieve economic development? Zero. A zero. Okay. How about the uh, Ford F-350 pickup with plow? Zero. Zero. Zero? Any more thoughts on that? Okay. Um, how about fire station and police headquarters design and construction? Three. This one's three. Three? Yeah. Okay. That achieves economic development. How about the Highway 76 1 and 2 design for economic development? How does that Three. achieve those Three. results? Three. Okay. How about the undergrounding for segment three? Three. 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 Okay. Um, how about the Compton Drive pump rebuilds? 2131 program number. Zero. For economic development, zero. Zero. Everybody agree on that? Okay. How about the lift station 46 pump and, and controls? Program number 2132, how does that achieve yeah. economic development? Does it? <clears throat> Zero. Zero. Any more no. thoughts on that? Cooper Creek. Okay. The only thing I'm, the only thing I'm hesitant on for giving that one a zero is there's a developer out there developing Whisper Cove it says he's going to pay approximately $53,000 of the pump installation so is that is that economic growth um, that could be impacted by that but I'm good with a zero if everybody else is a zero. Where are we? Uh, 2132 there it's talking about the developer is going to pay approximately 53,000 of the pump installation cost. Does it achieve the definitions economic for economic, economic development? development? I think that is an economic opportunity for growth in my opinion because more people will be able to come to our community and so it would enhance at least a one. I, one. I mean, we got to have houses, right? We got to yes. have places for people to live. So. Yep. I mean, it's totally up to y'all. So, what do y'all think? I'm a one. One. Okay. How about the next one? Lift station four, gravity sewer, for utilities. Twenty-one thirty-three. How does that achieve economic development? And the results given. I don't believe in gravity, so it's a zero for me. <laughs> zero gravity. Okay. 5G caused it. Does everybody agree with the zero? Yes. It's got to be all downhill from there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Zero it is. How about the lift station 21 rebuild? Program number 2134. Probably zero. Zero for economic development. No, I just asked Stan a minute ago. I'd, I'd like to know if any of this is going to be associated with Cooper Creek, with the this developments is, up and down this is, Fall Creek yeah. Road, which is important. Cooper Creek will be the will be the lift station facility that will deal with uh, the sewer treatment issues along Fall Creek out to the south of our community. Okay. So the improvement of that would improve the ability to provide services out to sure. Fall Creek, well, Cooper Creek. Uh, hopefully what we're seeing, as, as you know, uh, the others may not, is as we're seeing a development occur out there, we're also looking at ways that it will offset our costs by right. allowing us to remove some lift stations possibly. So, okay. so my Go question ahead. would be, if that happens, then this lift station issue goes away or? Well, I don't remember which one, no, which it, it's not, no, 21's not, wouldn't okay. be affected. <sighs> so what, what score would y'all give it for economic development? Um, Zero. Zero. Okay. How about the next one? Scheduled lift station pump rebuild. Zero. Zero for economic development. Okay, how about the next one? Zero. Uh, replacement of the Zero. Ford pickup. Zero. Zero. Okay, does everybody agree? Yeah. Okay. What the next one? The Spring Creek sewer remains for economic development. How does that achieve the results? Well, at least a two for that area. This one, uh, just another thing that you all should know about the Spring Creek. Uh, we're also looking at water main out there as well. Uh, we do have a developer, right? Uh, well, it, it talks about we, there's a neighborhood out there that is not in the city as of yet, but uh, they have a serious water and sewer issue. Uh, we are helping with the, we're helping them with the water issue because it's unfortunately it's one of those islands in our community. Behind the island is a uh, very uh, a good sized piece of land that one of our developers is wanting to put residential homes on. So uh, I just wanted to make you all aware of that when you see Spring Creek, it's, it, it, is, it is to help that neighborhood, but it's also to help the, the entire area out there as we continue to try to improve the infrastructure and catch it up to where we annexed uh, so much beforehand. So how does that achieve the results for economic development? Does it? It offers economic development. So. Okay. At what level you think? Two. One. One? Two. How about? I'm okay with a one or a two. One. A one? Okay. okay. Does everybody agree with a one? Yes. Okay. How about the next one? Um, 2138, the replacement of the UTV for utilities. I think that's zero. 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 All agree? Okay. How about the sewer collection rehab? 2139. How does that um, achieve economic development results? That's going to be at least a one. If it's allowing groundwater to infiltrate the collection system, that's going to be costly. I would say it's at least a one on the economic development um, piece of it. So, okay, it achieves some of the results, but not all. Yeah. So a one, okay. How about the next one, 2140, to rebuild or replace Compton Drive aerators? Um, how does that achieve economic development results? So how is this going to impact the Fall Creek, um, or how will the Fall Creek development impact this particular one? Any it doesn't. Mike says nothing? it doesn't. No. Compton down here and Cooper Creek up here. Okay. So nothing to do with that. So. Okay. What do you think? What score? So probably zero. Does everybody agree with that? A zero uh, for economic development on 2140? I'd give it a one. Uh, Does it, you think it achieves some it results achieves of some. the economic development? Well, there's going to be a greater demand put on Cooper Creek. Mike, am I right on that? With that building out there, there'll be greater demand put on Cooper Creek than we've ever seen. But this is Compton, right? This is 
This is Compton. This is Compton, yes. Yeah. Never mind. D to me, this uh, is Cooper Creek. I'll, 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 throw this, right there. I'll throw this out there for you all. To me, uh, every one of these, as far Cooper as Creek, so. maintaining or, or maintaining the sewer treatment facilities, to me, is they, they start at a one because they all do really impact economic development. Without them, we will not have economic you development. That, right. So I'm not saying they're huge on the list, but at least a one. Are you getting clarity, Jamie, because of the mention of both of them? It is Compton. It is Compton. It is Compton. Okay. A mistake in the description. So just remember, for going forward, it's not Cooper Creek, it's Compton. Compton. Okay. And I knew that because it said it's been in service for more than 50 years. <laughs> You're the only one old enough to remember that. That's right. Me <laughs> and Larry Ben Gilder. Okay, what what score do y'all think on this one? The one. I gave it a one. One. Everybody agree with that all for economic those. development. Yeah. Under that argument, all of them. One. Okay. And then um, Rod said, under that, all of them are ones. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I, build? I agree with that. All would be ones. Okay. I really yeah. do. I... So. 2142, 1, 2, uh -huh. 2141, 1. Okay, how about 2143, the replacement of the Freightliner dump truck for wastewater treatment plant? 2143, how does that achieve economic development? I believe this is the biosolids. Mike, how much money do we, is involved in all that? Well, that replace, I know that truck hauls the uh, biosolids. Do we not receive payment for hauling that? that that's what for I'm looking at. For other cities. But how would it achieve economic development results? It would results? Have to be very low because right. it would only fit in that one bubble on balance right. and desired yeah. service level, changing costs and revenues. That's what I see where that. One okay. sounds good. One. One sounds good. One. Anybody else think anything else? Okay. How about the um, 2144 water system GPS unit? How does that achieve economic development results? I think it's a two because it, it yep. reaches, it. it's where our developers come to make sure we have the water capacity and, and yeah. ability to provide water and sewer to them. Okay, so does it offer a safe and welcoming environment? I think it is stimulates well planned, sustainable development, redevelopment, and revitalization of the community. Okay, so you give it a two. I think Stan said I a did. two. I, I said a two. What do y'all think? Did Everybody else is agree? My question is, do we have this already? No. So this is definitely a need, what you're saying. It's a, it's, we have GPS capability, have but this one will it's allow us specifically for water system GPS. Mike said it was a replacement. Yeah. Okay. One. So it's a replacement, but it's the replacement and upgrade of what we currently have. So. Yes. Okay. So how does that achieve economic development results? I'm still with a two. Two. Two for me. Two. I'm a two. Yeah, okay. Two. Everybody agree with a two. Okay, let's move on. Um, the three-quarter ton utility truck. Remember, this is about the new regulations that have been put into place. Um, this is going to pull the trailer with the equipment on it to assist in um, us meeting those regulations. Zero. Zero for economic development. Yeah, I don't think the truck itself is. Okay. Does everybody agree with a zero on that for economic development? Mm-hmm. What about the next one, um, the actual equipment itself that the truck will pull? How does that achieve economic development? Same. It doesn't. Doesn't? Well, maintaining fire hydrants okay. and valves and stuff, I mean, if you put any new any new business or any new, new development, don't you have to have some fire hydrants and all of that stuff? Does that roll in? I don't know. So I think the discussion that earlier was that the equipment is a best practice because they can do it manually. It's just going to be a lot more efficient with the equipment. Um, so 
What are your thoughts on that one? Economic development wise. It's more on best practice. I think it's a best practice. Let's do zero. Zero? Yeah. I think it'll score really high here in a little bit. How about that? Um, okay. The next one is 2147 Pacific Street. Yeah. Specific. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Pacific. Um, Pacific Street Tower Air Conditioning. How about that? <laughs> How does that achieve uh, economic Zero. development? You know, economic development, you have to have the city staff that are calm, cool, and collected. So. Zero. Zero. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're hot, you can get cranky. <laughs> the <winter. Church> fans. <laughs> Okay, how about that? Economic development, zero? Zero. Yeah. Okay. Do those windows open up there on that tower? <laughs> you, you can go swim in the tower, though, can't you? <laughs> it's been known to be pretty steamy up there. Okay. Um, the next one's 2148, repairs Meadows filter, rehab the walls. Clean and inspect. I'm not going to read all that, but there you go. Unless you want me to, and then I will. But. I think it's a safety issue, but I don't really think I it think, is agree. an economic it's development not an economic issue. Economic development. Zero. Does everybody agree with the zero? Yes. yes. Okay. We'll move on. How about the replacement of the truck for zero. the utilities? Zero. 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 Okay. How about the Recplex water tower renovation, 2150, for economic development? How does that meet the results? Probably a three. Three? I think it encourages people when they see that we maintain our infrastructure like that. You think it stimulates economic growth? I think it could. Okay. I think without it's adequate water, if we, if we allow the tower to fall within, in disrepair, we will lose economic development. How about offers a safe environment? Good? Yeah. Okay. That's up to y'all. I just don't know how bad it is off. What do you think? What's the score level? Three. I give Three? It a two. Two. I'm a two. Two? Two. Two. Two, two it is. Two it is. Okay. Next one, Compton Drive Flood Protection, 2151. How does that achieve economic development? Three. If you don't have it, you're going to lose 65% of your right. economic uh, income. Balances service levels. Yeah. For sure. Hmm. What else? Huge. I could give it a three and a half, I would. You can give it a four. It's just that important. Does it achieve all the results? So four will achieve all the results for economic development. Do y'all think it does? You have a flood. You have one. Well, it's, no, it's over it's with. Look at all five I'm, just, or, I'm just asking the questions to get y'all to think about yes, it. Yes, I, I would say it does, and I would rank it a four. Okay, a four. We does everybody have, agree? We have Bob Simmons recommending a four. Is that correct? We do. He yes. wants a double read. A four. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to agree with Bob Simmons. I'll okay. Four. Everybody agree on a four? Okay. The next one's the Eiserman Park walking path. How does that achieve economic development results for Parks and Rec? Two. A two. People like to have that when you're thinking about developing or economic development. Okay. They look for Any other thoughts on that one? Michael says two. I'm open. Jerry says two. I wonder about the utilization of it. No. Of the walking path? Yeah. We don't have any ideas about that, do we? Do you know, Cindy? Okay. I said two. I can go with the pickleball thing, two. but I think, like, for just a walking path, I do not think that is a economic, economic development, development okay. thing, but it, certainly community character and mm -hmm. a couple yeah. other ones. But I, can go with, I can go with the two because I, I, one of the things that I know we talk about in our surveys with our business folks are the opportunity to move here, what we offer. And I think what Cindy was talking about, this has a great opportunity for our uh, 
for our older community to give them a place to to walk and 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 be secure and quality of life. Well, yeah, Offers quality. a safe environment. So I think keep yeah, them off so the think, road walking. Yeah, I could give it no, a two. I'm good. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll do a two. A two? Does everybody agree? Okay. How about the Cantwell Park Rehabilitation Project? How does that um, go to achieve economic development results? You know, the interesting thing about that, it is really one of the truly the only true basketball courts that's used in the neighborhood. We get people come from everywhere that Bob and I see. Is it, is it uh, more quality of life? Yeah. Is it going to add a lot to economic development? But it's pretty strong, at least in our neighborhood. Uh, and the thing's just falling apart like a $5 a case. I think we could give it a two for the same reason we done the Iserman. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Does everybody agree with that? Two. Mm -hmm. two. All right. How about the replacement mower for parks? How does that achieve economic development? Zero. Zero? Does anybody agree? Everybody agree? Okay. How about the next one, the replacement vehicle for parks and rec? Economic development. This is the one that does the public restrooms. Does it achieve one. economic development, the results? Probably a one. one. Yeah, I could give it a one just because it, it, it would enhance the opportunity for businesses to look at our park system to bring okay. people here. Okay. Everybody agree with the one? Okay. How about 2156, Community Center Access Road? I really don't see much to that one. Because zero to be. Zero. Okay. Does everybody agree with that? Okay, how about the replacement UTV uh, for parks? This is uh, to assist in maintenance of the baseball, soccer fields. I'd give that at least a one because of the amount of uh, ball fields and uh, tournaments mm -hmm. coming in. Okay, a one? Yeah, I, I, I okay. definitely see a one. Okay, how about the next one, the hydraulic dump trailer? I'm the same as, as with yeah. that one as well because I know it, it also helps with Sorry. Okay. It also helps with those. How about the campground site improvements? Probably the same for the campground, wouldn't it? Economic development? Yeah. That's why I said that, that I know it sounds crazy, but the, the, the campground is very focused on economic development in our community. A whole lot of people come to that mm -hmm. facility and then shop throughout our community. And so do you think that's a one or higher? I'd give, it, I'd give it a two. Because it a partners two. with the community to support and encourage the growth of local economy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just to comment, many of the folks who camp here, when they get ready to retire, end up buying here. Mm -hmm. so. It stimulates economic growth through well-planned, sustainable development and redevelopment. So the, the concrete pads and stuff, they've known to bring in not that I'm talking about money, but known to bring in additional revenue, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> well, it talks about additional revenues in the mm -hmm. bubble up here. So desired balance of desired service levels with changing costs and revenue. So I think it fits several of the bubbles here. So it could be it could be at least a two or three in my opinion. Okay. That's just my opinion. I feel what like is, I'm doing all the time. <laughs> Somebody else talk. What, you, what is anybody else's thoughts? That, a three? For all the reasons anybody that have already else? been mentioned, it is an economic driver for this for Branson mm -hmm. in particular, I mean, I it really so. is. And what does anybody else think about it? Everybody agree with the three on that one? I'm good with it because okay. now that now that you all have said what you're going to say, I, I will, I, again, I try not to weigh into this too much, but uh, mm -hmm. this will allow us to also keep up with the other parks that, uh, I mean, it, it's good we, we're not in competition with them, but we just want to maintain the same level with them. And, and one of the big things that Cindy has, has told me is that uh, they're, the parks are developing more premium spots because people are wanting a little extra uh, when they are out traveling. So I think that three is appropriate. Okay. Um, everybody agree with the three on that? Okay, the next one is the Recplex exterior painting of the building. 2160. How does that um, fit with the economic development results? Or does it? I'd say a one. It needs to look good. Okay. And there are a lot of folks that come in for tournaments and all the different sports things that see that. And I, I could agree that. with a one. 
impetus okay. to come back. I, I agree. One, everybody agree? Okay. How about the next one, the replacement of the trash truck for 2161, um, the program number? For the parks, how does that achieve economic development? Well, I don't think anybody wants to go downtown or to the park if we don't have the trash picked up. Any, any thoughts on the scores? Give it a one. A one? Okay. How about Parnell Park Improvements? How does that achieve economic development? I think we gave the others a one, so we should give this one a one. One? Okay. How about the command staff vehicle replacement for the fire department? That's a zero. Economic development? Zero. zero. Okay. How about the fire engine replacement? How does that achieve economic development? Does it offer a safe environment? Yes, it does. I'd give, I'd give it, it, a it at least a two on that. I'd, how old do we say this thing is? 14 years. Mm -hmm. I'd give it a two. We a went, two? We, we went to the taxpayers and asked for a public safety initiative to help us do stuff like this. Mm -hmm. We should show its importance. Mm -hmm. And just on that note, we did buy a, a really nice fire truck right after that. It was nice. Yeah. I want to ride in it. Where's Ted? There you go. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> How about the next one? Um, I'm sorry. Did we say two on that one? Just yeah. for clarity. Yes. Let's go okay. Two. How about the fire marshal vehicle replacement? I think as far as economic development, that's a zero. Yeah. Okay. I, I, okay. Does everybody agree on that? I'm sorry. Fire, fire chief. It's not personal. <laughs> just you're just scoring back to the results. That's all it is. Okay. So zero on that. It does not really do anything to achieve economic development. Okay, how about the outdoor warning sirens? How does that achieve economic development? That one walks a line with me of being higher. It's it very, is very higher. Important. Well, I'm going to say. And does it just, offer a safe environment? Yeah, absolutely. And speaking from a boy who's lived in Missouri his whole life, we do have a tornado or two that comes through. And when you want to be outside, that's really what these are for. They're outdoor warning yes. sirens. And when I move or look at a house, I try to make sure to look for the, th that it has a storm siren system. So to me, it does impact economic development. I think also, companies or businesses that are wanting to relocate somewhere, I think they look at, you know, quality of health care. I think they look at the school systems. And I think they look at safety in the community for their associates that will be moving here to, to work for the business. I think it's you might could also argue that it strives to balance um, service levels at some point. So. Yes. Yeah, so what would y'all say? Two? At least a two. Two on the outdoor warning sirens? Okay. How about the SCBA compressor and cascade system? This project, it replaces um, old equipment. How does that achieve economic development results? I don't think it does on economic development. Okay. Zero. 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 Okay. How about the next one, Spring Creek Water Mains? How does that achieve economic development? That's, a, that's that area we talked about earlier. I thought it was a two myself. I think we gave it yes, a two, didn't we? Yeah. For the economic development? Okay. How about the Cooper Creek um, mm -hmm. upgrades? How does that achieve uh, economic development? I'm still at a ground floor of one on all those, and then I can go up from there if somebody has another reason. Okay. <laughs> Gotta have them. What are your thoughts? I was look, wanting to know if that was government mandate. Government mandated for the Spring Creek water mains, or? No, the Cooper Creek, 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 Creek Intermediate, Intermediate upgrades. upgrades. Is, that the Is it DNA, DNA mandated, or? It's like normal maintenance type stuff. So this really goes to infrastructure improvement and, mm -hmm. and I mean, again, I think. What does it do for economic development? Something that people that are going to look to invest here in our community want to make sure that. I assume it's there. Okay, so to what level? Two. How does it achieve those results? Two? You don't Hurts have it. it. You don't have water supply. Okay. 
everybody okay with the two or do we have other thoughts? Two's good. Okay, how about the next one, the police analytics software? How does that achieve economic development? Back and read. Which, which number is that? The 20, 2175. 20, okay, what happened to 2171 and 2172? And 73 and 74. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> there are other. I'm so sorry. Yeah, just. Don't. There it are might other be governance. Yes, that's exactly what I was going to say. The ones that you see skipping them will be the, on the governance that oh, we'll do. Oh, okay. All right. So I was just so being honest. Just, if you could just tell me which. Uh, so which one are we at? We're at 20, the analytics software, 2175. Okay. Sorry. We'll go over the governance when we're done with the community. How does it achieve? economic development, does it offer a safe environment? I would think it qualifies for a one at least. Yeah, I'd give it a one. Yeah. Okay, a one? Uh -huh. Okay, how about the less lethal launcher? I just like saying that. I do too. Yeah. LOL. <laughs> That's a, almost a tongue tangler. And Jeff said that um, over the break, he said it would be more like something like a paintball gun type of stuff that would be less lethal. I was thinking the bio, the bio stuff from the, the dump truck maybe was what it was launching. <laughs> <laughs> the bio solid pellets. <laughs> but I think the LLL would be a zero on economic development. Mm. Okay, zero. zero. Okay. How about the interface with the Motorola and Cody? It'd How be, does that achieve economic development? It'd be a zero. A zero. Does everybody agree with that? All right. How about the um, patrol replacement vehicles for economic development? Probably a zero on this one. But important In, other places. But okay. My opinion. Okay. Uh, Bill says two. Yeah, Pam says two, zero. I'll throw that back into the same avenue that we talked about the police or the, the fire trucks with the public safety initiative that we wanted to keep those out there. If you don't have good policing, good fire, you don't have economic development. So it offers a safe environment? Yes. Okay. okay. I, I was just going because they were leased in 2018. Mm -hmm. No, they're still fairly new. Mm -hmm. My vehicle's a little bit longer than yeah. that. But anyway, I'm, I'm okay with whatever. So just for that, um, patrol vehicle are, are typically 36 months. We keep them three years because of the nature of their use. Just FYI on that one. Two for me, ma'am. Two. Does everybody agree with a two on that patrol vehicles? They put a lot of miles on them, too. Okay. Yeah. Next one, um, 2179, citywide unmanned aerial vehicle. This is the drone. What are your thoughts on that? How does that achieve economic development? This is a two for me because, it, again, we're going to use it for more than, than, than just flying it around in the air. It's going to actually help develop where to put water lines, where to place sewer lines, doing the topography work and everything. Sam, will this be a drone? This is just my question. Just will this be the, a drone that maybe help find autistic kids? And will that be the same thing it if they have those could bracelets? It possibly utilized for that because it will have an infrared camera system available okay. to it. Oh, that would offer is safe and talked yeah. about last year? Yes. I think if we want to compete with some of the larger cities for business or, you know, to attract, attract people, I think we've got to have a few of these tools in our tool belt. I mean, given that, it certainly offers a safe environment if it can assist in help finding kids and stuff like that. What are your thoughts? What's the score on that, too? Okay. How about the... Um, Watch guard camera. Now, um, Jeff also elaborated on this for me at the break. Um, this will be also the license plate reader. So it's not just the camera and those kind of things. It'll take our existing equipment and it'll also add the um, license plate reader on that as well. So um, just a little tidbit for you. How does that um, add to and achieve the results of the economic development? It helps the safety version. I, I, I see it as a one. Personally. Okay. Does everybody agree with the one? I do. All right. How about the interview room equipment? Twenty-one eighty-one is the program number. Zero. 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 Okay. How about the um, housing authority project parking lot? The program number twenty-one eighty-two. How does that achieve economic development? Does it offer a safe environment? 
I mean, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, it kind of cleans up our downtown area a little bit. And okay. I think it probably does address some safety issues as well with people parking willy nilly on the street. And okay. Safety. Yeah. Right. I'd, I'd give it a one. A yeah. one? Does everybody agree? Okay. I'm good. How about the O? Oh, I'm nope, skipping that's that. That's where one. we stop. Yep. 2183 is the last one, and we actually cut that one, right? So, okay. That one's the end of economic and development. Yes, sir. Before we leave that, can I ask? Highway 76 is probably our biggest economic development project in a decade and will be for the next decade. And when we scored these, did we not score the two things on Highway 76 as a three, which would be items uh, 2115? I and thought we scored one of them as a four. Right? Four, yeah. Well, we have on economic development 2115 and 2129. So they were, so Melissa, it's not a two, is what you're saying, it was a three or a four for economic development? Yeah, I thought it was either. What, okay, so but since it's um, in there, what do y'all think? Is it a three or a four well, for economic I, development? That's a good question. I think it should be a four because I think our commitment to that project is gonna have to span two decades here sure. to get it done, so and yeah. that it should be shown as a priority. Okay, four. And 21, 29 was the other one. That we have a three. Two design segments, yeah. I think that should be a four all Okay, does everybody agree? You wanna up that to a four? And then the undergrounding utilities, yeah, I forgot that one. Yes, is that one a three, two, or a four? We up it to, to a four? it's a four, yeah. Okay, all right. Does everybody agree with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, good deal. Thanks, Mr. Simmons. That's good, yeah. that's what it's all about, is just discussion and making sure we get it right. Okay, the next one I have is infrastructure and environment. Um, so I won't go through unless you want me to and read all of those um, definitions. Um, so um, infrastructure and environment, we're gonna go through those uh, the same, y'all are gonna get to know these items very well. Um, we're gonna go through the same ones again, but we're gonna score it against a different result, infrastructure and environment. So the scores will obviously be different here. So we're gonna see some whole different scores. You are, yes. I would imagine so. some that were zero are gonna be higher and some opposite. Okay, so how about the first one? 2100, new vehicle for planning and building, infrastructure and environment. How does that achieve infrastructure and environment results? And they're really the 2100 and 2101, they're both vehicle replacements for the building. I only see it fitting, fitting in one of the bubbles myself. In one of the bubbles, okay. I think it, if it's if it's anything besides a zero, I think it could only be a one. Okay. That's my opinion. Again. Any other thoughts on that? And I would assume both of them, since they're vehicle replacements. What are your? You, anybody else have any thoughts? Zero or a one? I've, that's what I've heard. Both. One. Okay. Is everybody okay with a one? Hmm. For both of them. Okay. Yes. We'll move forward. How about a 2102, the additional um, sewer camera equipment and trailer? How does that go to achieve the infrastructure and environment results? I think it hits a couple of... Um, is it critical or is it just, does it achieve it somewhat? Where's the two? I gave it a two. A two, okay. Does everybody agree with that? A two, all right. Um, how about the AMI system, the Advanced Metering Infrastructure System? How does that go to achieve infrastructure and environment, the results given? Is, it, is it critical? A, I think it's a three. A three? Because it continually Strong. protect water resources, maintaining water quality. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, good stewards. Um, and the one over here designs, builds, and proactively <laughs> maintains a reliable yeah. utility infrastructure. Okay, so it has a strong influence, um, three. Does everybody agree? Yes. Okay. Next one is the um, demolition of the concrete tanks for lift station 31 and 32. How about that one for infrastructure and environment? How does that um, work toward achieving that result? At least a one, yeah. I think, because of the protecting um, and maintaining. Yeah, I'd give it a two. We got these two bubbles over here. I've heard of one and a two. 
Any more thoughts? Jerry says a two. Two. Rod, two. Everybody agree with a two? Okay. The next one is the Dewey Bald Water Tower. How does that go towards meeting um, infrastructure and environment? Oh, boy. It is critical to, three. to the infrastructure okay. of that part of our community and the environment. It will, uh, it will be more efficient in operation than what we have out there right now. So. Okay. So you say a three or a four? Strong or critical? I'm, I, I'm a three or a four. I, I, and one of the things is I know that we have businesses out there right now that are also having to utilize energy to because they have to have backup pumps just to be able to get water into their, their uh, businesses. Yeah, they have to have pressurized tanks to raise yeah. it up. So do you think this one's um, strong or just essential towards meeting well, this goal? There's going to be any more development out there. It's going to so oh, three or four? Four for me. Four. Okay. Everybody agree with a four? Yeah. I can see it. Okay. How about the um, next one, the groundwater well service? I think this one is... Uh, Infrastructure and environment. I'd give that a four, too. Yeah. Water quality. Backups. So, good stewards, safe, clean water supply, control storm water drainage. So, do we think it's strong or essential? I looked at a three on this one three. simply because it is a backup system. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. A three. With three. Everybody three. go with a three? Okay, how about the rebuilding of the uh, Compton pumps? How does that go for uh, infrastructure and environment? I've got um, Rod and Jerry both think it's a four, yeah, that's three. A very, that's very high up to me. So you think it's strong or e absolutely essential towards meeting these? Um, we've got some essentials. I'd agree with a four. A four? Everybody agree and okay with a four? Yeah. Okay. The next one is the... Um, the, um, excuse me, the maintenance facility, the, the second maintenance facility um, for um, utilities. What do you think, infrastructure and environment, how does that achieve those results? For me, it was high. I gave it a three because I felt like it's gonna protect our equipment and make it last longer. I would, I would agree with a three. Three sounds good. A three? Does everybody agree with a three on that? Okay. Three it is. How about the chlorine leak scrubber? Two. Two. How does that achieve the infrastructure and environment? Mayor says two. Anybody else? X is a good steward. between a two and a three because quiet. of the air quality issue out there. Okay, I'm going to say something. Do y'all know what I think of when I, when I see this? You, you know the Mr. Scrubs uh, commercial with all the little bubbles scrubbing, scrubbing the bubbles. bathtub? <laughs> okay, that's just me, but that's what I think of. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well, it was just a little tidbit, okay? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Okay. Two. I, I'd say two. 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 At least, yeah. Okay. Everybody agree with the two on that? Okay, how about the uh, stairway repair for the utilities, the um, tower? A one. A one. Does everybody agree with a one for infrastructure and environment? Everybody? Yeah. Or, okay. How about the um, painting of the Branson Landing Boulevard um, and Veterans Bridge railing? Are we not doing the City Hall Bowler? Well, we're going to do that one okay, last I'm so sorry. that we can score. No, that's okay. okay. Yeah. Hey, Jamie. Yes. The boiler is actually found on, on the, the governance. governance. Yeah. Because it's internal for. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're on painting the boulevard. And that governance is last, so we'll okay. get it last. I just want to make sure we talk about your boiler. Yeah, boiler. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just like to hear you say bowler. Bowler. I bowl <laughs> water, too. Bowl. Michael? I wanted to go back to the repair of the stairways. Okay. Uh, and ask if those are hazardous, because I don't know. Are they hazardous right now, Mike? I know they're rusted through. And a lot he of said not at this point. Thank you. Okay. Two? So are we back on the painting of the railings now, or are we still going back up to the red? 2113 to where I was. Okay, so 2113, painting of the, um, the railings. How does that go towards meeting the results for infrastructure and environment? The only one I see where that fits in is acts as a good steward of the um, land and the environment. Okay. The maintaining, but as far as it doesn't fall into the solid waste management, water resource, air quality. Under um, public infrastructure, probably. Yeah. Falls in. So a one maybe? In public infrastructure. Um, but anyway, it would, I would have to be a low one, I think. So maybe one? One. Is that what y'all are thinking? Help me out. Where are, the, where are these railings? Keith, where are those railings? You know, down there Is by, the you, know where the, you know where the uh, barbecue, the uh, roundabout? Yes. You come across the roundabout, the, it's on the bridge. Roll Over Brill Arch? Mm -hmm. Pedestrian walkway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty obvious when you drive down through there. They need some attention. So infrastructure and environment, knowing that, what do y'all think? Seems more like a public safety issue, doesn't it? Oh boy. Yeah. Two. A two? Does everybody agree with a two? Okay. How about the Caudal Way low water crossing? Infrastructure and environment. I actually think that's a critical piece of infrastructure for that neighborhood. Okay. It is to them, isn't it? I might sit down for a minute. Go ahead. You got a question on that. Have we made any promises? to those people living back there that we would be doing something? No. No. That's, that's right. That's right. Okay. I'm going to go at least a three on this. I, I was at a three. A three? Three's good with me. Okay. Moving on. 165 and 76. The intersection improvements. How does that achieve the uh, infrastructure and environment? It's going to help a lot of traffic flow and... So, develops a public infrastructure at a pace that supports population growth and a rate that allows the city to provide sufficient services without, I don't know what we can say, without a financial burden on them. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that's really the only one I see that it could. Um, it's going to, we're going to have to modify the curb and guttering through there to manage water runoff in that corner. The other, the other thing that it will allow us to do is Im improve the traffic flow, which will right. increase uh, better fuel efficiency. Instead of people having to set in line forever, they'll be able to get into that right turn lane if they're simply turning south on 165. So, so that's going to help our air quality? It will help our air quality as well, <laughs> yes, ma'am. I was, I was looking at it as a two, but... That's good to me. Two is good to me. Two. Two. Before, which makes sense. Okay. How about the Celtic Bridge replacement? What are your thoughts? How does that achieve infrastructure and environment? 
That's one that the denigrated down to the point it was substandard, correct? Correct. At least the three. Okay. I've Any other thoughts on that? Pictures of that? I'm good with the three. I, said, I remember seeing the pictures. It looked pretty bad from underneath. Let me pull this down. I remember seeing the pictures of it look pretty bad from underneath. Okay, so we'll leave that one as a three. How about the paint striper? How does that achieve infrastructure and environment? That's a stretch for me. Yeah. One. I, I would even go a zero. A zero? Because one. it can be, okay. it can be hired out. Well, so public private partnership type of deal. Mm -hmm. But I'm good with whatever. Okay, so what what do y'all think? Score is one or zero so far? I give it a one. A one? I'm okay with a one. Okay. How about the I used to do this stuff during college. How about the plotter? <clears throat> the next that, one. I, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I think that plotter is somewhat needed for our infrastructure and environment development both. So is this, this is a replacement, correct? Get up, correct. Um, of one we bought in 2013. I think we established it's widely used for all of the purposes. So. Okay. So it's a replacement, but it's, it's an improvement in technology yes. as well. So it's an upgrade yes. as well. So it correct. is an upgrade. More so important. what do y'all think? Well, um, how does it achieve the infrastructure and environment goal? It helps us to plan the infrastructure. Design, okay. builds, and proactively. Yeah, I, I think it's at least a three. A three? I'm counting three. Does everybody agree with a three? Three. Okay. How about the next one, the radar trailer for public works, infrastructure and environment? Other than the traffic count, which helps us know like wear and tear, usage, all of that stuff, you know, predictives, I think, for any of these, I don't know that it really plays a big part in it for anything other than maybe okay. the traffic You okay count. with a one? A one would be good. With a one? In my opinion. Okay. Does everybody else agree with that? All right. How about the zero turn mower? For public works, I don't see infrastructure much and environment, no? Zero. Zero? Does everybody agree with the zero? Okay. How about the replacement of the bucket truck? 2121, how does that achieve in infrastructure and environment? It's certainly going to help with maintaining. Okay. So at least a one? Yeah, one. yeah because of the traffic. Like, Traffic flows. Yeah, okay. I think that's important. So. All right. How about the replacement of the 2001 Ford Explorer for Public Works? How does that achieve infrastructure and environment? I don't see it doing it. I don't either. Okay. Is that a zero for everyone then? All right. How about the Trailblazer for Public Works, the replacement? How does that achieve infrastructure and environment? That's the stormwater vehicle? Is the MS4, it's a replacement vehicle for the MS4 stormwater. That might be a one. A one? a one? Yeah. I'd give it a one. Okay. Everybody agree with the one? About the next one, the Ford Escape. That's a pool vehicle um, for public works. Zero. Zero towards uh, infrastructure and environment. Does everybody agree with a zero on that? Okay. How about the next one, the transportation master plan, infrastructure and environment? I think that's critical yep. to our three. community. Critical? Four. 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 Does everybody four. agree with the four? Okay. How about the brush chipper? That's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty critical, James. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but, um, I think we need to give that one a zero probably. A zero. <laughs> okay. Does everybody agree with the zero? <laughs> For infrastructure and environment, might be higher another time. So. Okay, zero it is. How about the Ford um, 350 pickup and plow? How does that go towards infrastructure and environment? 
Well, it says it's being utilized to spray herbicides and trash pickup. Concrete repairs, which is infrastructure. Snow removal stuff. Is that a one? Yeah, I can see a one. Yeah. A one? Yeah. Okay. Um, how about the fire station and police design and construction? How does that go toward achieving the infrastructure and environment goals? Infrastructure heavy. Uh, strategic location of those. And is it improvement, you know, is it more energy efficient, yeah. different different things being good steward, good steward of our resources, um, enhancing existing ecosystems, um, energy efficiencies. Give it a two. Two? Yeah. Two. Two? Okay. I'd call that a three. Mr. Simmons says three. And, and for two reasons. Uh, one, it's an expansion of our infrastructure in the city. Mm -hmm. it, it's new coverage. And uh, two is uh, we have promises more or less out to the public that that would happen. Okay. Does everyone agree? You want to go up to a three on we that? We can do a three. Okay. That's, I mean, that's those are good points. I was just trying to fit them in these bubbles. Sure. But, um, but yeah. What do y'all think? Community perception is very important. That adds to it as well. So. Okay. Three it is. How about the Highway 76 1 and 2 design, infrastructure and environment? How does it achieve those results? Well, it's got sewer lines in it. Um, what I, and to me, what's even more critical than the sewer lines is that it's going to double our water lines uh, right. to enhance our infrastructure, our water system out. Three. all along 76 and that will it's really not even about 76 what that will do it will allow us to expand our water system into our neighborhoods where we don't have fire hydrants so that could even be a four then on infrastructure and environment thing yes. it's because it's critical because it's critical don't you think okay is that bob, bob what do you think on that one i was thinking four 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 okay how about the next one the undergrounding of the utilities for infrastructure and environment. Probably Is that the same? Same argument. Okay. All right. How about the rebuilding of the Compton pumps? Infrastructure and environment. Waste management plan. Treatment plan. What do you think? A three? A three, three. three. definitely. Yeah. Everybody says three. Okay. How about lift station 46, the pumps? I was at a three on that one also. Okay. Three. Everyone seems to agree with that. How about the lift station number four, the gravity sewer? For infrastructure and environment, how does that work? How does it achieve our results? I, I think you'd have to I be think three, two for this yeah, three. I think it's three. Yeah, okay. it's, it's very important. Okay. How about the um, rebuild um, and replacement of lift station 21? Three. Same thing. three. How about the next one? Three. Same thing. Okay. How about the Ford F-250 pickup Zero. replacement Zero. for utilities, infrastructure and environment? Zero. Zero? Uh, yeah. Okay. How about the Spring Creek water mains this infrastructure? Was a, this was a three to me, but I'm yeah. going to sit over here and be three quiet. Three for the same reasons. That's three different. for the same reasons as above. Everybody agree with that? Okay. How about the um, next one, the replacement of the UTV for utilities? How does that achieve infrastructure and environment results? I think it makes it easier, but I, I, I could see a one on that. A one. A one. Does everybody agree with that? One. All right. How about the next one? The sewer collection rehabilitation. That's a three to me. Three or a four. I, yeah, I, it's up the yeah, upper limit. I, yeah. We have if. If we don't continue to rehabilitate our sewer system, we're going to have we will have a serious infrastructure problem. So Does I everybody can, agree you want to say four? Is it I critical then? Wrong, four. Okay. Okay. Four it is. How about the next one, the air raiders for Compton? I have three on that. Three. 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 Yeah. Okay. I had a three on the next one also. Does everybody agree with that? Three. Yep. Three on the next one too. Okay. So now we're down to 2142. Three. three. The three. Compton Drive Sludge Basin. Yep. Three. Three. 
Infrastructure and environment. Okay, how about the next one? The freight liner dump truck for the wastewater treatment. Remember, this is the biosolids truck. How about infrastructure and environment? How does that achieve our results? I, uh, I don't think it's critical to the infrastructure, but I think it is critical to the environment. Premise. Yes. Okay. Program. Yeah, mm -hmm. Sure it was. Is. Two. Two. Three. Two. Do I yeah, hear I was anything? At a two or three. I can go either way. Two. 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 Okay. I hear a bunch of twos. Two. Twos. Okay. <laughs> How about water sewer GPS unit? Oh, How does that infrastructure and environment? I think that one's pretty important. Yeah. It was. I think it's a three. I so I'll go with three. How about everybody else? Three. Okay. But the next one, the three-quarter utility truck, three-quarter ton utility truck. In infrastructure and environment, how does it achieve our results? I think what we said earlier on the last one was that this truck doesn't really, it's the process of doing it is what's critical. That's correct, but The yeah. truck is not, I mean, it's to haul. It helps haul with the something. efficiencies of it. Let me ask a question. This is a multi-use truck, isn't it, Mike? It just would not be used just for hauling this trailer around. So infrastructure and so environment. Maybe a, so maybe a one. A one. Any more thoughts? Yeah. One. Yeah. One. Looks like everyone agrees with that. Okay. How about the equipment for the mandate? I think that to assist goes with efficiencies. Up and, yeah. yeah. So how about it? How does it achieve our results? Primarily environmental. What'd you have on that one? Three. Three. I had a three I on a, that. A three. I wasn't sure if it was a. Does everybody agree with that? Let me a little bit of clarity, Mike. The, the true purpose of this particular device. What is its main purpose? Testing pressure. That means you got to go in there and fire them up. So this one's pretty important. Then. And if the valves don't work, your water system doesn't work. Yeah. Thank so, you. so infrastructure and environment. A, so maybe this would be a four instead of a three. Okay. Everybody else? Uh, what are your thoughts on that? How does it achieve our results for infrastructure and environment? I have heard a well, four. Well, it allows you to do more valves per year and a more accurate assessment. Am I right? Increased efficiencies, um, good stewards. Well, if it's, yeah, it has to be fairly high if it's mandated anyway. I mean, you have to do it. Safe, clean water supply control. Three or four. Three or four, I don't care. I'm all right with a three. I'm all right with three. Three? three. three. Does everybody agree with that? Okay, how about the um, air conditioning replacement for the street tower? 2147. Just how depends on who envir whose environment you're talking about. <laughs> sure enough. How about the infrastructure and environment? Does it achieve results? And you might want to put a lot of thought to those who have to go to meetings and ask places, too. <laughs> well, it just seems like that's a total <laughs> different category altogether. Yeah, that's the public does. safety of the people living in there, because I don't know what mold or mildew or whatever else lives in there. I, I kind of agree with what, what Bill's saying, that I think it's a high priority, but I don't think it's a real high priority in the infrastructure or environment of for the city. So it doesn't not achieve these results, results, but it it's, will uh, achieve. It's some. like that should be in a separate category someplace for our own internal 
building funds and maybe like through governance something like that yeah. but it's not in any of these bubbles, so. well we can always move it to governance if we need to sure okay but we should at least acknowledge it as a one here shouldn't we yes a one okay just How about cause, just because we love the people that have to sit in that absolutely room, right amen that we care about them you know, I'm just Next meeting's going to For all those other people. Yeah. <laughs> Next meeting, we're not going to have any air conditioning at all in here. And then we'll Mercy. Anyway, so. <laughs> okay, 2148, repairs meadows uh, filter and rehabs. Okay, so for utilities, filter rehab slash walls. How about infrastructure and environment? I think that's critical to our water yes, system. Yes, it is. I had a three I'd give that a three or a four. Do we? I mean, sometimes with FEMA, when we have floods and stuff, is this effect? This is not what that is. Okay, that's the dredging, right? That's what I'm thinking of. Okay. Does this jump right. over into the mandate that has to be done every once in a while? Borderline. No. There's I figured, yeah. I think okay. removing particles from suspended water to protect from pathogens mm. is pretty important. Uh, that's, that's right. Yeah, I, like I said, I, I, I'm at a three or four on this one and probably four personally like just because it helps to maintain our water uh, uh, standards. This is sure air and water quality? Maybe water but not air? Okay. What are your thoughts? Four on score? water. Four. Oh, four. four. Okay. All right. How about the next one? The replacement of Unit 297, the 2012 Dodge Ram. Zero. For infrastructure and environment. Zero. Zero. Does everybody agree with that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. How about the Recplex water tower renovation for um, infrastructure and environment? I, I, again, I think that's critical to our infrastructure. Okay. I was I was at a three or a four on that one. Does it achieve our results? Anybody else? I'd go three. A three? Three. three. Everybody good with the three? Three for me. Okay. Next question, one. Question. I'm sorry. That's Are we okay. just talking about doing the exterior of that or the interior, which definitely changes my three to a four if it's interior? It's, it's both. It's both. Oh, well, then that's different. Yeah. If it's just the outside, the aesthetic, but if it's inside too. It would be both. So, what are water your thoughts? Quality. Does that change four. things a little bit? It's a four, then. Okay. So, in water quality. So, we go with a four yeah. on that water tower renovation now. Both. Okay. How about the um, Compton Drive flood protection? This one's a four with me. I, I had a four. Achieves all of our results and then some. Okay, for infrastructure. Can we have six. <laughs> yeah, yeah, six it is. <laughs> okay, how about the walking path, Azerman walking path for the parks? Infrastructure and environment. I think it does impact our environment because it, it's talking about uh, improving water quality in Lake Tanicomo and the surrounding watershed because of the material that it's going to be made out of. That's why we received the grant. Uh, I, I was a two on this one. Yeah, that's what I had. Okay. Two sounds good. Two? two. Okay, how about the Cantwell Park Rehabilitation Project? Infrastructure and environment, how does that achieve our results? Is it critical? Is it somewhat? Or does it achieve them at all? This doesn't okay. impact any water quality levels. Um, like no. the other one did, right? I, I just looked at it as it does impact our what we call our infrastructure, and I, that's why I gave it a one. A one. We're liable to lose at some point in time. We're going to lose that because this is a wall that supports the entire uh, platform there for the basketball courts. So. so, what are your thoughts? I think it's a little bit more important. I would say it's a two, perhaps. Okay. But two. Two. Yeah, two. Okay. Two's good. Okay. How about the replacement mower for parks? I'd say zero. 
You know, not, not seeing it. <laughs> Infrastructure and environment. We say zero, everybody says a zero. Okay. How about the um, replacement vehicle for parks? Um, this is the one with the restrooms. Uh, infrastructure and environment, how does it achieve their results? I looked at it as a one or a two, uh, just because it, they utilize that vehicle for all of our parks to maintain the restrooms, to maintain the quality and the infrastructure of the parks themselves. Okay, any more thoughts? Do we all agree? Two? Okay. The next one. 2156. 2156. Sorry, I got to turn my page. <laughs> okay, 2156, Community Center Access Road. How does that achieve infrastructure and environment results? Or does it? I mean, what are your thoughts? Is it essential or somewhat or really not at all? Well, it'd be much more convenient to be able to pull around and do some of the things, but I don't really see it involved with Same infrastructure here. or environment. I, I think it's convenient, but not essential. Um, okay. It would be nice, but... It doesn't fit this criteria. Does it? Okay. So it doesn't no fit really with the criteria given? No All more. right. So zero on that? Okay. How about the um, parks 2157, the UTV, the replacement? This is um, the one that helps maintain the baseball and soccer fields. Infrastructure and environment. How does that achieve our results I, if i do it that's it's a one it doesn't ensure health air quality doesn't support the population growth i think it's a zero a zero, that's a zero. all right okay everybody agree with that a zero how about the next one the dump trailer 2158 is the program number. How does that achieve the infrastructure and environment results? A one at best. One at best. Yeah. A one at best. Okay. Does everybody agree with that? Okay. How about the campground site improvements, infrastructure and environment? How does that achieve our results for infrastructure and environment, the campground site improvements? I move that up to a three. It shows the importance across the board. A three. Does everybody agree with a three on that? Or does anyone have any additional thoughts? A three? Okay. How about um, 2160, the Recplex exterior painting of the building? How does that achieve our infrastructure and environment results? Hmm. I have a zero, but I... A zero? Yeah, well, we need it, but... Mm -hmm. Just couldn't make it fit. Yeah, not on this mm -hmm. one. I mean, it's important on other ones, but mm -hmm. I don't see where it goes on this one at all. Stan might make it fit. That's the importance of this exercise. Uh -huh. Yeah. I said Stan might make it fit. Stan, are you going to try to make this one fit? Mm. That's okay. I could, but I won't. Okay. <laughs> That's now, important. Now the next this one exercise. we'll argue about. <laughs> okay. Twice twerk. Remember, this exercise is important so that we can stick to the goals and the results that we've been given. Okay, so what did we say on that one? I'm sorry. The exterior building? Zero. Zero. Zero, okay. It's achieved higher in other places. So um, how about the trash truck? What do y'all think on that one? Um, how does it achieve our infrastructure and environment results? I think it falls under the you know waste management, uh, curbside. Um, that's recycling, but. Uh, Good stewards, safe, clean, I guess, but low at best, probably. Okay, so you thinking a one maybe, uh, or what do you think? I don't want to be the only one doing it. I had it as a two. So. I have it as a two. <laughs> well, so how does it uh, match with our criteria? I put it as a two <laughs> simply because two. without, if we don't, if it's, if we're not capable of maintaining our trash, it's going to impact our environment, and especially when we talk about the campground, which is right next to the lake. Yeah. And okay. I just think that is an important device that helps us easily maintain the quality of our lake. Acts as a good steward of the land, picking up trash. You could make that work. Oh, well, 
It also affects the air quality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like yes, that's that's right. houses. <laughs> okay, so what do y'all think? What score? Two. Two. two Everybody agree with two? Two, three. Two? two. Can I get a three? Can I get a three? <laughs> <laughs> Going once? Going twice. Okay. How about the Parnell Park improvements? For infrastructure and environment, how does that work towards achieving those results? Where did we put the last park? I forgot the wall. Two. Uh, I, think I thought so. two. Can't we well do park. two on this yeah. for the same reasons? Uh, well, I'm, I, yeah, because I again, I, it, I know when you talk infrastructure, to me that's it is infrastructure. That park is part of our community, and I think it is important to the infrastructure of the community as a whole. And it quality it, of life. It, yes. Yeah, and it, it uh, does help our environment simply by having, being able for people to get out into it. Mm -hmm. I'm good. So two. Okay, does everybody agree with that? Okay. Um, the command staff vehicle for fire department, how does that achieve our infrastructure and environment results? I got a zero, zero. on this one. Zero, okay. How about the fire engine replacement? How does that achieve infrastructure and environment results? Or does it? Or does it somewhat? I would say at least a two. The, the, all of our fire equipment is used for any kind of accident, that, that type of thing, clean up the road. Uh, so they are used for the environment as well as the safety. They protect our infrastructure because sure. we got to put them out if they're catching on fire. Mm -hmm. so. What are your thoughts? Two, three, what do you think? Anyone? We're going once. <laughs> okay. Two? Two. Okay. How about the fire marshal vehicle? How does that achieve our infrastructure and environment results? I have a question. Yes, sir. Disconnect. You just went over the fire truck that was rated a two, and you just went over the command staff vehicle that's rated a zero. The mowers are rated zero. All the support trucks are rated zero. So my question is, if you have infrastructure and environment, and you have a capital requirement to maintain them, why do the vehicles get zeros? If your infrastructure has a number. Well, because we're only scoring it back to this one goal. So you'll see this is not the total score. This is just one result. So we still have some others to go through. And at the end, we will compile the total score and give it to you in the next meeting so that you can easily divide up if we have any capital money for next year. So. When you're looking at it, it's really important to say, okay, we have this vehicle, and you go through all the definitions and say, does it fall into this? Does it fall into this? Does it fall into this? And it's not, um, is it important? Yes. I think everything that's been requested is most likely important. But this, the, um, what we're doing right now is, does it achieve the results that we've been given? Well, my, my question is, how do, you, how do you maintain this, like it says maintain it, without a vehicle? You know, I don't see a vehicle priority uh, category somewhere else, you know. Um, how does a tourism make the fire chief vehicle more important than an infrastructure? Well, and it could fall in on their program. So, I mean, you need those vehicles to assist with certain programs and those kind of things. And I think that's where this is important. So, like, on the safety, the public safety one, you'll see probably these fit in better. So this is just going under the assumption that if we give it a low rating or a zero rating, they're going to use, they're going to continue to use the same vehicle they're already using. So that's right. There's not going to be a lapse in service. It doesn't mean they're not going to get it funded. It just simply means that it's not achieving. We don't think, y'all don't think, it's more about what y'all think. Y'all don't think that it really goes towards achieving this one result. So the fire marshal vehicle, um, does it act as a good steward of the land? You probably can't fit it there. Does the fire marshal vehicle ensure air quality? Um, does it continually protect water resources in order to maintain water quality? Those kind of the questions, that's kind of what we're getting to. I understand what you're saying. We have a fleet maintenance program, um, and that's, you know, 
but you got to understand that um, we only have so much money, and so it's really important to make sure that the priority of the requests get met. So I don't know if I answered your question or not. You're looking at like I didn't. Okay, so, so. Um, you said the fire chief's card. Okay. The fire chief's card. You don't have a, a supervisor for the fire truck. So it's a, it's a it's a. There is a supervisor in the fire truck. So so you 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 bring up a good point, but here's what I will say: we have a large fleet. And we have a lot of vehicles. And it's important, we still have a fire marshal vehicle. It's just, do we replace it right now? And does that replacement of that vehicle fall under this goal or not? Oh, I, I understand. Yeah. But eventually it times out at 200,000 miles. Now what? Well, then maybe they'll just have to walk. <laughs> but you're right. I mean, they can we, ride the fire truck. That's the whole point of doing this um, activity is to. So it's not on us; it's on y'all. Y'all make the decision. Does this fire marshal vehicle fall under this result? Unfortunately, it might be an old one, but if it doesn't achieve this result, it just doesn't. So don't you really, though, as you shake all that down and you get to things that are at the bottom that are other than trucks Correct. or vehicles, and you say, well, you know what, we're really going to have to have this vehicle, so even though this category scored a little higher, maybe that's what you move forward to a different year, because at some point in time, you're going to have to have the support vehicles. You do, and we do that. We do the rotation of the vehicles and stuff like that, and, and that will really come, that discussion is going to come at the next meeting when we have those pots of money, and, and you can say, well, I think we need to use some of this money because this truck is really old. That's what for the next meeting is for. Right now, we're just simply scoring it to get a score on it. It doesn't mean it's not going to get funded. It's open for discussion. It just means it may fall lower on the results than it than something else would. So at that meeting, will that mean like let's take Cindy's mower for example that was inherited from the public works department? <laughs> yeah. Will this year's new public works department mowers, if they get approved, will they then transfer down to Cindy and meet that requirement? Well, I would hate to think that one department has to always take hand-me-downs from another department, but we're trying I see to what get away saying. from that. To yes, be with you, because you want to move away from all of the high maintenance on the old equipment. Um, sometimes it's more beneficial just to get the new equipment, um, and and that's what, if you recall, that's what we set up those internal service for funds for about a year and a half ago, and we started putting money in. Unfortunately, this year is unique, right? So uh, we had to scrap some of that this year. Hopefully next year we'll be able to do a little bit, put some more money in. But we started building those up, and that's what those are for. Those internal service fund is for building and vehicle replacement. So that we, it's like a savings account. You put more money in, and two or three years down the road, you have some money in there to um, start doing some of that replacement of the vehicles and building maintenance that you might not otherwise have. You're welcome. <laughs> Does that help answer your question? Yes. Okay. They may have heard us talking. All right. I don't even remember where we're at. How about the fire marshal vehicle? Fire marshal vehicle. How about that? Where does it score? Zero for Michael. Zero. In this area, I had a zero. Zero. Okay. How about the next one? Outdoor warning siren replacement for infrastructure and environment. How does it meet our results? I think that is part of the infrastructure, personally. Okay. It's a central part of it. All right. What level? Three. A three? Everybody agree with a three on that? It's a strong importance. Okay. The next one is the SCBA compressor and cascade system. This is to replace outdated equipment for the fire department. How does that meet infrastructure and environment results? I don't think it does. It doesn't. For infrastructure, infrastructure. It does or does not? It does, it does not. not. Okay. So are y'all saying zero? Mm -hmm. zero? Okay. How about the next one? Spring Creek water mains. That meets infrastructure. Okay. It does. Three. three. A three? Yeah. Would everyone agree with the three? All right. Okay. How about that? Um, Cooper Creek upgrades. 2170 is the program number. How did that achieve our results for the infrastructure and environment? At least a three. three. At least a three, yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. How about the um, police analytics software? How does that achieve our infrastructure and environment results? Zero. zero. A zero. Does everybody agree with that one? 
zero. Okay. How about the less lethal launcher? I'm going to say paintball guns. Okay. Okay. How about the Motorola Cody system interface? How does zero. that achieve these results? Zero. zero. Okay. Everybody agree with that? How about the patrol vehicles infrastructure and environment? How does that achieve those results? What do you think? The replacement of the police vehicles. Zero. I have to take my thought process with fire and police side by side. If we're going to give one that we need to give the other a similar review. So um, that's why it's important to look at it from the results perspective so that we're not comparing department to department. It's just right. specific capital equipment so that you don't have to feel bad or guilty about scoring one something and not scoring another one. So what are your thoughts on the police vehicles in regards to the infrastructure and environment? How does that achieve our results? I think it's a zero, but that's okay. my opinion. I agree. <clears throat> It I'm doesn't mean they're not going to get funded. No, it right. just means it for this mean result. Safety yes, right. and all that stuff. Yes. Where they're not going to score Absolutely. High, but in right. this one. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So what did we say? Zero. Yeah. Does everyone agree with that? I'm Mr. Alone Skanes, he says I'll one. I'll do one at least. Yeah. So what do you think? Any, everybody say zero. Raise your hand. Zero. <laughs> okay. I think you might be outruled in this I one. I see that. That wouldn't <laughs> be the first time. I gave, I gave the next one a two. Okay, the next one, um, the citywide, the drone. What do y'all think on this one? Infrastructure and environment. How would that achieve our results? I gave it a two because it, it's going to help us map the infrastructure. Yeah. Okay, I'm okay. good with two. A two? Two. Do we all agree on that? Okay. How about the watch guard camera? And remember, I think this is the license plate reader as well. So think about that. Uh, infrastructure and environment, how would that go towards achieving Zero. our results? Zero. Zero, yeah. Okay. Everybody agree with that? Zero. How about the Zero. next one? Zero. Zero. Okay. How about the housing authority parking lot? I think it could be a one. Yeah, I'd be okay with it. Infrastructure the and environment is a one. Okay. Does anybody else have any other thoughts on that? Okay. How, oh, we're done with that one. Woo. Next goal. Land use. Land use. We should probably like... I'm Move afraid. through this one pretty quickly. Yeah. It is becoming apparent to me that we might not get through all of these. So um, we'll talk about it in a little bit, what we need to do after that. Maybe if you want to score the rest of them at home. I think we did this last year. We did. If you want to score the rest of them at home, at least you know now the process and how we worked through those. We can, you can score them at home and then turn your scores into my office um, maybe by the end of next week or something, we'll compile them. And for our next meeting, we'll hand out. And then hopefully by then, we'll have a little bit more activity um, under our belt. We'll be able to see. I think it's good to see the majority of it. To I do too. Because I think we all kind of get the idea of what too. really fits and what doesn't. Yes. So I think it's good. But Absolutely. I think last year it worked well being able to fill it out. Jamie, know. I'm really enjoying the input, though, from a different perspective. Because what I saw, somebody else saw differently. Okay. Really. Would there be any way, yes, we can do it at home, but would there be any way we could have a time like in a Zoom situation or something like that yeah, where we could would. at least have? I mean, we can certainly do that. Uh, Chad, what do you think? So to clarify, you're just wanting, you're wanting to do this in a virtual format? A like, virtual, mm -hmm, do another uh, one. I mean, we could come back in, I mean, I yeah. don't care to come I, back. Again. That's up to y'all. Whatever I'm open the committee to doing decides one. they'd like to do, I mean, uh, in that scenario, uh, Melissa, you could share your screen where everyone can see and okay. you can interact. Now, the interaction on a Zoom meeting, unlike this one, I mean, everyone would, would want to be muted until called upon so that you don't have a lot of background and crosstalk. Why don't we, try to, why don't we try to come back? Okay. Face to face. Okay. I mean, I think we can get through land use today unless y'all want to leave and come back. If you'd stop uh, talking and get moving, we will. Uh, <laughs> Yes, sir. Whoa. <laughs> I, I, I do what I'm told. Okay, land use. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Are we back to 2100 now? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, how about, I'm going to take these in pairs. How about 2100 and 2101? Uh, vehicle replacements for building and planning. As far as land use goes, how does that work to achieve our results? Does everyone have their results maps? I just want to make sure. I do. I gave that one a two. I gave that one a two also because okay. it, it, the vehicles are important to 
continuing our land use development. Correct. Zoning, all that kind of stuff. Correct, so, zoning okay. and everything. Two for both. Mm -hmm. All right. How about the uh, camera equipment and trailer for utilities for land use? Zero. I didn't see anything there. Zero. A zero? All righty. How about the AMI system, advanced metering infrastructure for land use? Zero. Uh, yeah, I, zero on that one. Zero. Okay. How about the um, demolition of the concrete tanks for the lift stations for land use? How does that work? I gave that one a two just to okay. clean that up. As a land I, use. I gave it a one because at least it would give Mike the land to use that the junk is setting on. <laughs> yeah, so that a makes one sense. or two I'm fine with. Okay. Anybody else? Two. two? Two? Okay, everybody says two. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, how about the water tower, the Dewey Bald water tower? How does that work? Does it achieve the land use results or not? I think it's critical to the land use results because without it, we're not going to be able to develop that land out there. Correct. So I gave that one a four. A four. <laughs> okay. All right. How about the groundwater well service? How about... Um, does it achieve our land use results or not really? What are your thoughts? Well, it's existing. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. It's to rebuild or replace the replacement of the groundwater well equipment. At well, least one. Environmental stewards of the land. I mean, Absolutely. That, yeah. I'd, I'd give it a one. A one? All right. Um, how about the, the Compton pumps? The, to rebuild those. What do you think in terms of land use? Does it achieve our results? I don't see a zero. anything with that. Everybody have the same thoughts? Okay. Okay, 2109, program number 2109 for land use. Um, it is the uh, maintenance facility, the, the second one for utilities. What are your thoughts on land use? How does that achieve our results? I don't think it does. Zero. Just a better use of the land is what it comes down to. Okay, it? so does everybody think zero or? Yeah. Yeah. All right. How about the chlorine leak scrubber? It doesn't do anything for land scrub. use. You can scrub the land. I know, you can scrub the land, okay. <laughs> All right, so zero on that one. How about um, stairway repairs for the tower? Zero. 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 Everybody agree? Okay. Yes. Zero. How about the painting of the railing? Zero. 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 How about the Caudill Way low water crossing? Say one. Yeah. Yeah, one. For land use? Okay, one. Does everybody agree? How about the Highway 165 and 76 intersection improvements for land use? Does it meet our results? And if so, to what level? I gave that it's one to be two. up there. It's got to be a high one. So you think it's critical? Three. Three? three. So there's a strong influence on that? Okay. To, to attract and serve the needs of potential new businesses and professional yeah. So industries and business. So yes, I think it does yeah. fit. A three? Are we still at a three, three. or do we yeah. need a four? Three. Okay. How about the Celtic Bridge replacement for the land use? Is, is it meet our results or not too much? I think it's a one again. I think it's a one just a like one. Caldwell Way was. Okay. Zero. Paint stripper zero. Paint stripper zero. Okay. How about the plotter? Paint striper. Stripper. Okay. Stripper. Yeah. I'm okay. I passed right through that one. I was trying not to draw attention there. What happens at four o'clock now? I don't. Okay. How about the paint striper? What did we say? Zero. Zero. Striper. Leave me alone. Okay. It's Friday. How about the plotter upgrade for land use? How does that achieve our results? I think it's, Again, I think it's, it's important. Up there. It's very, very important. Yeah. Okay, so y'all think it's critical or just a strong influence? I'm a three or four. I can go either way. Whichever Does it achieve all the results or just three. most of them? Three. A three? three? Okay. How about the next one, the radar trailer? I'm having a problem with that one. That's a zero to me. Zero. zero. All right. How about the zero, zero turn mower? Zero. Okay. How about the bucket truck? Zero. zero. I don't see it doing land anything use? for land use. Okay, everybody agree? Mm -hmm. How about the... Zero. Um, okay. Zero. Ford Zero. 
<laughs> okay, wait, I'm, I'm losing my, my footing. Program number 2122. Two, two. Did we say zero on that, that one? That was a zero. Two, and 2123 two, two, is a zero. Two, three, zero. Two, and 2124 is a zero. Zero. Okay, how about the transportation That's master plan? Transportation master yeah, plan, I think, four. is important. I gave that a three. Okay. Three. Does everybody agree with the three? On transportation? Yes. Yes, yes sir. Okay. And there's that poor brush chipper. The brush chipper. <laughs> A zero. a zero. Okay. How about the Ford uh, F-350 with the plow? Zero. zero. Land use. Okay. How about the fire station and police headquarters design and construction sure. for land use? How does that fit into meet our results? I think it focuses on future growth. Uh, I'm a three or four on that one. Okay. Does it achieve all of our results or just most of them? Most. Both most. Are. So a three? Both are strategic locations, I think, well planned, well thought out. Uh, so at least a three. Okay, three. All right, how about the Highway 76 1 and 2 design? For land use, how does it achieve our land? I think from land use, that's a four. Okay. Does everybody agree with that? A four? Well, I mean, when you think about all the utilities that are going to be combined into that one piece that's a that's an efficient use of of our land this is the largest investment the city's done since branson landing it's what 60 to 70 million dollars it should be very important on and, our land. and the and the I big it hits every one of them the big yeah so the, and the big key important. for it is to in, in bring in we we've got vacant land out there right we've also got land out there that could be utilized better so that and that's what the whole purpose of this is okay okay so i put a four on that one all right. How I'm about a, the undergrounding? I'm a four on that one, too. Four. Well, for the same reasons. Everybody agree? Okay. How about the Compton Drive pumps? For land use, how does it achieve our results? Zero. Yeah. I heard a zero. It would, be, it would be more like land you couldn't use. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't see it actually land use. So zero. No yeah. negative numbers. Yeah. <laughs> Same with that one. Okay. Same with uh, 2132? Yeah. No. Wait a minute. 2132, the developer, this is helping in development, was for Cove, right? Oh, that's so that's true. use of yeah. land. Yep. So, yep. so how does it fall within our results? Yeah. So it's going to hit some of these bubbles. So. Okay. So how many and what do you think? About a three. A th three. Three would be good. Yeah. Thank you for getting So y'all went from a zero to a three? Thank you. <laughs> okay. How about um, lift station number four? Mm. Land use. How does it achieve our results? Doesn't really, does it? I don't see it. Yeah. No. Okay. Zero. So we're thinking zero on that one. Uh, zero on the next one as well. Okay. On the twenty-one. And thirty-four. Okay. Does everybody oh, there's agree? There's two twenty-one thirty-four. Right. Um, yes. So on those two, do we say zero? I heard yes. a zero. Do y'all agree with that? Because they're both yeah. the similar. All you do is rebuilding on those. Yeah. Okay. All right. How about the um, 2136, the replacement unit, the Ford F-250 for utilities? What do you the, think in terms of land use? Zero. Zero. Okay. Does everybody agree with that? Yeah. How about the Spring Creek mains? 2137. I'm at a two or a three on those because they will improve land use when we can get utilities to that land. Okay, so it, does it achieve our results? Three. And to what level? So three. Stan says two or three. What do y'all think? Two? Jerry says two. I'm okay with two. A two? I'm okay, everybody. All right. How about the um, unit number 328, the UTV replacement for the utilities? How does that achieve our land use results? Zero. It does not. Okay, zero. How about the sewer collection rehabilitation? How does that achieve our land use results? It could be at least a two. I don't think that that actually increases our land usage, okay. or it, but it, it simply maintains what we have already. So. Okay. So what are your thoughts on that? Does it achieve any of well, the talks about results? Or? Stewards of the land. Protects its natural system for no, for yeah. most sustainable. Okay. How about a one? So it could be a one. A one. Does everyone agree? All right. How about the next one? Um, the rebuild and replacement of the Compton Drive aerators. 
how does that affect our land use results? Is it critical? Is it somewhat? Or does it zero, even achieve them? Okay. No, not really. Everybody thinks it's a zero? Okay. How about the um, waste sludge pumps, the rebuilding of the uh, sludge pumps? How does that achieve our land use results? I'm not sure it does. Zero. I don't think a zero? Works. Okay, I think everybody agrees to that. How about the Compton Drive Sludge Basin Aeration Blowers? Does that achieve our land use results? And if it's so, what level? Well, the only thing area is the environmental area, uh, looks like to me. Okay. So what are you thinking? You thinking it's think more than a zero? I think for use, it's a zero. It's okay. important other places. But Does everyone agree with a zero on that? Yeah. All right. How about the next one, the freight line dump truck for wastewater treatment? Um, I don't think it affects land use. Okay. Zero. Zero. Does everybody agree? Okay. How about the water system GPS unit for land use? How does that affect our results? Does it achieve them? And so to what level? I see that as maybe a personally as a one. A one? Okay. Just because... I think that system will let us utilize the land that's available in an efficient, more efficient fashion. Okay. Everybody thinking that's good? Or does anybody have any other thoughts? It just seems like it's the underlying part. It's the plate for all of this, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we're going to say one? One. Okay. One. How about the three-quarter ton utility truck? Land use. What do think we think? It, I don't think it does anything Zero. for land use. Zero. How about the equipment? No. Zero. Does everybody agree? How about the um, air conditioning? Nothing. Zero. Oh, really affects. Land use. Really yeah. just really if you have land, you that. need to air condition it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh. Just saying. <laughs> okay. How about 2148? The repair meadows filter rehab slash walls. Nothing for land use. It Nothing? Just, no. Okay. It just... No. Okay, everybody agree with kind of a zero? It doesn't zero. really do anything? Okay. How about the 2012 Dodge Ram 1500 truck? The replacement zero. of that, zero. a zero? All right, what about the next one? The water tower renovation for land use. How does that achieve our results? Zero. Does everybody agree with that? Zero mm -hmm. on that one? Okay. I remember it's inside and out. Okay, how about the Compton Drive flood protection? How does that achieve our land use results? <laughs> so I hear a four. <laughs> Anything else? I don't know if I can stretch it that far. Okay. How about three? I'm a, I'm a three because okay. you know, I can go I with a three. Flood, okay. But. A three. Okay. How about the Azerman Park walking path? How does that achieve our land use results? Environmental stewards of the land. It, it helps people to get outdoors and use the land. Mm-hmm. I could see a two. A two? Yeah. I Does anyone else? A two? A two? Yeah. Mm -hmm. two? Everybody agree? We have a water Maximize the too. use of existing infrastructure and efficiently utilize the land resources. Mm -hmm. So I think it could, think it could mm -hmm. justify that. Yeah. Okay. So the next one is the Cantwell Park Project. How about that one? Land use. How does that go towards meeting our results for land use? I'm the same. I, I could go with a two on that as well because it it allows us it allows us to keep using that land. From what Bob says, if we don't do something, we're going to lose it. Mm. So I'm a two for the same reason. Okay. Exactly. Does everybody agree with a two on that? Yes. All right. How about the replacement mower for parks uh, for land not. use? Zero. Zero. Does everybody agree? Okay. How about the uh, replacement vehicle for parks and rec? Zero. Zero. For the restrooms zero. and stuff. Okay. Does everybody agree with a zero on that? Okay. I think we're at the community center access road for land use. What do you think? Does that achieve our results for land use or not too much? I think it could be a one. A one? That's just my, again, just my opinion. Sure. That because we're improving mm -hmm. existing land. Um, yes. Environmental stewards. Um, anyway, maximizing okay. the use of existing infrastructure. So, 
I mean, okay. I, could, I could go a one, but I'm okay either. Uh, plus, I, I could go with the one because it talks about in, improving land use because we're going to be able to have better parking for the guests down there. So. Okay, so we're going to go with a one on that. Does anybody else well, think anything different? A one. a one. All right. How about the next one, the UTV for parks? How does that achieve our land use results? I don't think it does. Zero. Zero. A zero on that one. Okay, how about the next one, the dump trailer for parks? How does that achieve our land use results? This is the one that um, hauls the large amount of brush and down trees and those kind of things. What do y'all think on that one? The only place that it, to me, that it shows is um, in the environmental steward of yeah. the land. I mean, you know, just the upkeep. How about a one? A one. one. All right. Does everybody agree with that? Sure. Okay, how about the campground site improvements? That's major. For the land use, what yeah, are your thoughts? That's a big deal. Do you think it's strong or critical or not at all? So I've heard it's a major and it's a big deal. What do you think? Does three. it? Three. A three? Does anybody else? Michael, do you have anything else? Nothing? Did you have a three on yours or did you have a three? I had a zero. I just had a zero. I didn't get it to match anything, but I mean, I, I'm, I'm part of the team here, so. <laughs> So three, three, okay. Add a zero on the next one. Okay, the exterior building Correct. painting yeah. is a zero. Okay, everybody thinks so? And as far as land use, I had a zero on the trash truck too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, how about the Parnell Park improvements? I was at a two on those. Two, yes. Okay, and then the command staff vehicle. That's a zero. zero. For land use. Right. Land use was a zero, fire engine was zero. Okay, how about fire marshal replacement zero. vehicle? Zero. zero. Okay, how about the outdoor warning sirens for land use? I do think they have a small part in land use because like I said earlier, I, I think people look for those when they try to locate housing additions and businesses in the community. So I was willing to give it a one. Okay, any other thoughts on that? I'll do a one. You'll go a one, everybody, okay. How about the SCBA compressor that was replace old equipment for land use? Zero. Zero, okay. How about the Spring Creek water mains? That does impact our land use somewhat. Okay. What? How does that, um, I to gave what it level? A I gave it a two. Y'all think so? Everybody agree with that? Or do you have other thoughts? It's a stretch, but I think two's good. Yeah. A two, all right. Um, how about Cooper Creek upgrades? What are you thinking? Land use. How does it fit in or achieve our results that we are I giving think to it, our community? I, th I, mean, I think it increases the efficiency internally, but I wasn't sure it did anything for the land use. So is that part of, is that part of the housing project on Fall Creek Road? Is that going to service the, the Fall Creek that project? Will, yes. So there's some, it does. is that an annex or is it already in? It's annexed, the, the land's annexed in. The okay. building has not occurred, but this one is just a, it's an upgrade to the UV refurbishments system for it. Yeah. Which would, could then allow for additional growth. So it would have to be really low or zero. Yeah. Okay, um, what do you think? Zero or one? I'm willing to give it a one. Okay. Anybody else? Everybody? One. Okay. How about the police analytics software? How does that achieve our land use? Zero. Zero. How about the less lethal launcher? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. Zero. How about the Motorola Cody interface? Zero. Zero. Okay. Um, patrol vehicles? Zero. Zero. Okay. How about the um, drone? I gave it a two. Land use. Does it achieve? Our results and to what level? Just because it will help with the land use as far as the mapping and designing and the infrastructure goes. I, I actually gave it a three, but I'm willing to give it a two for sake of argument. Didn't you know what we gave it last year was a three? It could be, because I don't it remember. Was across so many areas. Mm -hmm. It was just really expensive, so. It is very expensive, but it will pay for itself. No, I just meant that's why no, I think I, I it understand. funded No, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm saying, no, we should definitely not have bought it this year. Mm. But it will pay for itself when we can get it. It will even inspect our water towers. That's right. 
Could, could we limit the commercials at this point? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, if you need somebody to drive it, I'll, I'll have fun with that. Okay, so the watch guard camera, remember that's a license plate? Zero. Zero. I'm sorry, on the drone, was what was our score? I missed that one. I gave it a three, but. Three. Three, okay. Okay, so the watch guard. Zero. 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 Interview, Zero. okay. Zero. Housing Authority Parking Lot. I think that's a three. Two, three. Uh, for three. land use, a three. Everybody yeah. thinks three. We're going to improve the land that so it fits into our results. Housing is our houses okay. are setting on. How about the? Oh, we're done with that one. Looky there. Yeah, I told you we'd get it done. Yeah. Okay, so um, we got through all of those, and we have a few more to go. Um, what are your thoughts? When can y'all meet? And what are your thoughts on what your days and whatever's convenient for y'all will make it fit? As soon as possible. Yes, sir. That would be awesome. If my math is correct, there's 10 various orient orientations for all the questions. And we've gone through four. So that means we have six left. Yes. Okay. Does that include the governance one, too? Yeah, I think okay. I can. Okay. So are we wanting I'm to try just, to do it next week or? I was what? just going to say that the next one, which is parks and open space, is pretty straightforward. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. There's we'll fly right through that, that fit in it. So just a, okay. So um, if you want to do it next week and it can fit into your schedule, certainly, what are your thoughts when? I'm, I'm available Thursday or Friday of next week. I don't know what, what everybody else has got. Is but anyone and everyone available on Friday? No. I'm, okay. I think I'll be gone. Anybody else? How about Friday? Does it work for y'all or not really? We've got one It doesn't. If we could do it in the morning. Okay. I'm good Friday or Thursday. Thursday morning is free for me. Thursday morning? What do you think, Rod? The work for you? Either way. Days, you just okay. Here. Yeah, just tell me when to show up. Okay. So it's either going to be Thursday or Friday, and what works better? So, Pam, you said Thursday morning. I don't, I don't care. Thursday. Either morning, way. Afternoon. And Rod Friday, said either Thursday. way, and Stan, you said Thursday morning. Thursday morning is best. best for me. Jerry, what do you think? Thursday morning, okay. Um, so can we get through this in a couple hours if we have six left? No. <laughs> I think I mean, we can because I think it's just getting back into the room. That's right. Understanding all that's of right. these. And I mean, now we know what Compton's doing and all this stuff, so we don't have to ask questions. I think we can get through them a lot quicker. I think what will help, too, is this will give us a chance for those who are left to look through and read what each of the categories sure. has so we can have a better understanding. Because do you want to say tentatively nine to noon, and if we yeah. are early, yay? Or do you want to say ten to noon, or what do you think? It's going to take three hours, please. Nine to noon on Thursday? Okay, the 16th? Okay. On the 16th? Is that the 16th? I, I think 17th yeah. is Friday. Okay. I didn't have a calendar, so. Thursday okay. the 16th, nine to noon. Thursday 16th, nine to noon, we'll finish this up. I like this. I mean, I think it is really helpful for everyone to understand the projects and the requests and the process that we go through. So I think it's great. This is the same group we had last year. It right? is. It is. It is. You got to do a motion to adjourn. So move. Oh, yeah, I'm falling down on my duties here. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a motion to adjourn and a second. And all in favor, leave. Ha, 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 ha.